Oh my son, you should be ready to lay good foundation. Elian the better in the nearest future. You could be one of the leaders. So we pray. Amen. Oh my daughter, you should be ready to lay good foundation. Elian the better. In the nearest future, you could be one of the leaders. So we pray. Amen. To become a leader is not very easy. To become a man is not a good job. Everybody's ambition is to become a leader and to become a rich man. That is the struggle. So my son, you should be ready to lay good foundation. Ella the better in the nearest future. You could be one of the leaders. So we pray. Amen. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. So my daughter, you should be ready to lay good foundation. Ella the better. In the nearest future, you could be one of the leaders. So we pray. Amen. To become a man is not a day job. To become a leader is not very easy. Everybody's ambition is to become a leader and to become a rich man. That is the struggle. So, my son, you should be ready to lay good foundation. Elia the better in the nearest future. You could be one of the leaders. So we pray. Amen. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. strategies in life so uh, talking about Peter will be every day uh, worried me and still worries me and that's why a few days ago I wrote about it when it dragged Peter will be into I begged him begged him begged him and he will <laughs> tell me like Monday am I worried but I don't know what's between them so I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to get involved in it so why did Mesuma eh, well I don't know I don't know a lot of people have asked me that question I, I if I tell you I know I'll be lying to you I don't know you know the media even in America uh, show open bias you know that Fox News is more pro Donald Trump, while the others are more liberal. I, for me, my favorite is CNN all the time. I believe that CNN 
does a better job. Uh, if the Nigerian media is not making a lot of noise, you have to understand the nature of Nigeria, where we take everything personal. Uh, there are people who call me daily, oh, Timubu is your friend, you must defend him, you must do this, you must do that. Say, yes, he's my friend, he's my big brother. But the day I signed to work for Atiku, that's it. I have waived that right to protect my friends. I cannot serve two people at the same time. I, I accepted Atiku's appointment to be his director of strategic communications. So how would you feel? Someone called me yesterday, a very, very highly placed Yoruba man, called me yesterday. And he was saying, you guys must protect Tinubu, you must defend Tinubu. I said, yes, I would love to. But, like I read one interview or something with uh, former governor Babatunde Raji Fashola many years ago, he said, may your loyalty not be tested. When lo your loyalty is tested, you must, you must take a position. And now, it is not no longer about Atiku, it's about Nigeria. It's about Nigeria. So, that's it. I, anybody who knows me knows I'm a very careful, very reasonable, and I try to maintain my principle. It's a question of principle. There is no way I will sign an agreement with Atiku to work as Director of Strategic Communications, and I will not start working. I'm not that kind of person. Some people can do it, I can't. <laughs> so that's just it. People have called me, they call my wife, they will call this, they will call, you know, we like to put pressure, you know. And what I cannot defend, I can't defend. <laughs> I, I'm not going to waste my own principle just because I want to defend everybody. That's, that's not who I am. Where I can defend him, I've defended him, where I can do things for him, I've done it. I've done it. So, but in, in this matter, it's, it's not about Tiku, it's, not, it's now a matter for all Nigerians. And any Nigerian who cannot stand up to be counted is a bloody hypocrite. Anybody who cannot stand up now and say, ah, because we all criticized others in the past. We criticized Obasanjo, Obaso, we criticized uh, Yaradua. We criticize Jonathan. We criticize Buhari. So because the person who is there now is my friend, then I should keep mute. Then it means that all along I've been a bloody hypocrite. And that, that I, is unacceptable. Those who can do it, I have nothing against them. I have nothing whatsoever against them. It's a matter of choice. Nothing against them. Anybody who knows me knows that I give everybody a right to fair airing. So, it is nothing personal, and like I said, this, even Alaji Atiku Abaka will tell you that this is not about him. It's about the fundamental principles of democracy. What Atiku has done is to rise up at such an occasion as this, as a statesman. And anybody who does not appreciate that, then is an enemy of Nigeria. It's not about Atiku. I've been seeing all kinds of things flying left, right, and center. Uh, some people said uh, uh, Chicago State University said Tinubu attended their university. Of course, what's wrong with that? Atiku didn't go to Chicago State University to argue whether Tinubu attended or not. He went there to say this document that my friend Tinubu submitted to INEC. Can you recognize it and can you authenticate it as? And they said no. <laughs> so it's a simple thing. All this thing, someone sent me, oh, where is the phone? Someone sent me a transcript from the APC guys that they are circulating. That one is none of my business. This is it. Anybody who is still 
talking about, oh, he attended Chicago State. They should bring out where Atiku said that was his headache. You cannot worry about where anybody attended where you are not the one that paid the school fees. What Atiku went for at CSU is very simple. To prove that this document submitted to Henek was forged. It is fake. And there is no controversy about it that that document is not an original. And I, let me now say something. A lot of people think media and PR are the same. No, they are different. A PR person who understands that sometimes you have to come clean. If our Tinubu shoes, trust me, he had enough time between 2007 when he left as governor and now, if he knew he wanted to be president, to clean up all these things. Even to say, oh, once upon a time, this was my name, this was my father, this was my mother, but later in life, God blessed me and so I was adopted by some good Samaritans who brought me up. We all went through all that at different times. That's PR. In fact, people, people love grass to great stories. But when you are surrounded by people who tell you lies for money, we know them. We have all worked together in the past. We know them very well. They were abusing behind him. I will challenge them to say that they will abuse him behind him and then still go to him to go and make money. That's why when people say, oh, why, you know, I say, um, they don't know why. I can't be in a company of people who are just there to deceive a leader. And when trouble comes, they will be the first to run away. They should have told him that all these things, all these discrepancies, discrepancies, discrepancies we can Try to clean it up. The Nigerian law does not say you must have a university degree. So why are you worrying yourself about getting a university certificate? The Nigerian law says all you need is up to school certificate. If I were in issues, if I didn't have any genuine school living certificate, I will go back to school and do it. Nobody will kill you for that. I will go back to school. People were attacking my friend. The mother delicate. This, that, that. The man went back to school to prove his cynics wrong. In life, life is not always one plus one. It is not a crime not to go to school. It is not a crime not to go to school. It is not a crime. A lot of the billionaires in the world crashed out of school. There is, there is no law against it. But in a situation where you cannot own up to your deficiencies, you cannot own up to your past and your background, this kind of problem. And because you've been getting away with it almost for eternity, you should know that one day, Trouble will come and people will begin to say all sorts. So my advice all along was that, look, if you knew you wanted to be president, then you should have prepared well for this thing. You should know that what you can get away with in Lagos, you may not be able to get away with nationally. But all these noisemakers around, hey, you are this, on your mandate, we stand on your something, they will deceive you to take money. And behind you, right behind you, they will abuse you. I tell everybody who cares to listen, 95% of my friends are in APC and we interact a lot. And I know how they feel about these things. I pity them because a lot of them are very fantastic human beings. But unfortunately, there are a few of them and who are so powerful and power drunk that they will always lie to leaders. I've worked with leaders 
most of my life will never be in government. And I see them. I see them tell lies. And the leader falls for it. Everybody likes their ego being massaged. Who doesn't like his ego being massaged? So most people like their ego being massaged. Mm -hmm. And that's what has led to all this. So for them now to be running around, a lawyer who took the same man to court, who went and said he should be impeached, the same lawyer today is the one going up and down telling Atiku to go and apologize to Tinubu. I mean, I wonder how shameless people can be. And my mom will still keep such a person around him. Anybody who can do that, don't you think that such a person is not good for your well-being? A leader must have someone who can look you straight in the eye and say, ah, uncle, this thing, no, they don't do it like this, or we shouldn't do it like this. It is sad. But those are the people that the leaders keep around. So, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, so if there is any other question, please, let's, uh, let's fire on. I feel so sad for my country. I'm getting messages from everywhere. What is going on? They are saying your president forged a certificate. Something that is totally avoidable. <laughs> hmm. We can't even compare a president of a country to a girl, a young girl who they said fought that result. You can't compare. She's not a public figure. The president of a nation cannot. It, 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 it is it's the law. The girl has no problem whatsoever. They can penalize her for everything, but they cannot penalize her the way they will penalize a governor. People have lost governorship. People have lost, you know, uh, speakership of the House of Reps. Because of forgery. Because of forgery. So it's not it's nothing new. It's nothing new. But this, oh, what can anybody do? Who are they? We are in charge. People will deceive you. They will tell you lies. At the end of the day, you will carry the burden alone. In 1999, around that time. When Tinubu was going to be impeached, when Gadifa Waini was harassing him, I know what some of the characters around him today, what they told us. I called one of them from London that time. I said, hey, what's going to happen to our Ghana? Ah, look, we brought our integrity into this government. So we want to take it out, you know, neatly. We don't want anything to tarnish our image. Some of those characters are with Tinubu today. They panicked. We were even the ones trying to find out, okay, what can be done, what can be done, you know. It's a shame. Quite some time now. But there is these two videos that have been going viral on social media for quite some time now about two Muslim clerics that are particularly of the objective that Abuja uh is a northern state and uh, no arne according to him should govern abuja or make laws for them i believe they've been referring to um wiki who is the current uh, minister for abuja you see this is one thing we have been talking about is this same mistake we did to lagos that resulted to the idea that lagos belongs to a certain people now, Abuja is the federal capital territory. Federal capital territory. It is the seat of government. In case people does not, in case people do not know what a capital is, let me refresh our mind. A capital, it's a melting point of all the constituent region that, okay, we have agreed to allocate this place to belong to everybody. Abuja is a place that belongs to everybody. It's a place that the whole state has a share 
of and therefore is subject to administration that comes from that place let me give you another example again let's say we we, we have rented a five bedroom flat and uh, you have mommy's bedroom uh frank's bedroom chigose's bedroom uh yas bedroom and uh obi's bedroom the parlor the sitting room the living room is is where everybody converges and therefore no one you can say ah please don't go to my bedroom ah no don't go to my bedroom but the living room is where everybody converges so that's our state that's our capital state capital or federal capital this idea, you see these Muslim clerics, these Muslim clerics, I don't know, it's just that Nigeria is a lawless place. Otherwise, to me, some of these Islamic clerics should be, should, be, should be jailed. Because part of the Islamic extremism that we have, such that the hate that comes from Islam, comes from this, 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 this useless set of people. For me, I think they should be arrested and jailed. Because... If we are going to have a country where peace and love and oneness guides us, then the type of mentality or the type of sentiments, very, very monstrous retrogressive sentiments that these Islamic clerics teach their followers should be monitored and guided. I think they are getting, they are getting to a point where they think that they own this country, they can say whatever they want to say and get to it and nothing can happen to them. That shouldn't be so. One of the clerics was saying that it is wrong for an army, that is an unbeliever, to be dishing out law to them. Perhaps this is the same reason why they don't want uh, uh, a Christian to be president of this country. One of them even went forth to say that even with the Muslim Muslim ticket, even with the Muslim Muslim ticket, uh, it has not benefited Muslims the most, uh, the more uh, in Nigeria. You see, Nigeria is heading for a very very bad cataclysm a very very cataclysmic precipice and we must be watchful if we do not correct these things that are happening before us now we are looking at them and we're taking it for granted and very soon this thing may just snowball into something that we don't like nigeria is a secular state nigeria is not an islamic state Nigeria is not a Christian state. Nigeria does not belong to any religion whatsoever. And for peace to reign, the identity of the, the identity of Nigeria must be secularized. This idea that some Islamic clerics are giving the notion to their followers that Nigeria is an Islamic state and therefore only Muslims should have better position and better say as regards to the collective entity of nigeria must end now otherwise the end will not just be palatable we said it before that this islamic islamic muslim muslim ticket is a deliberate it is a deliberate ploy to build a future where nigeria becomes islamized we must save nigeria now otherwise where we are going is very very bad it's not going to be good for everybody Nigeria cannot remain a case of where monkey they walk, babu they chop. Nigeria must be fair to all. Nigeria must be equitably distributed to all. And Abuja, Abuja is a no man's land. Abuja belongs to everyone and anyone and any, anyone from anywhere can become the minister of the Federal Republic. The man was saying that Abuja is Ariwa. Abuja is not Ariwa. Abuja is in the center part of Nigeria. Abuja has no region. Abuja is in the middle part of Nigeria and therefore does not belong to north and neither does it belong to the south. Nigeria, Abuja belongs to all of us. The idea, I don't like, I'm not a Wiki fan. I don't like Wiki for his recent behaviors, but if we are going to toe that line that because Wike is not a Muslim and therefore cannot be the minister of Abuja, we are not going to accept it and we will definitely sit back now and define what Nigeria truly is, who and who owns Nigeria, what if Nigeria is an Islamic state, just come out and say it.
If Nigeria is not an Islamic state, come out and say it. It's if Abuja is a state, say it. If Abuja is not a state, say it. If Abuja cannot be governed by a, a Christian, you just say it. Let's not be deceiving ourselves and, 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 and dancing around or scratching around the wound. Let's scratch it big so high years we all we, we, we all grown in pains, but we will treat it eventually. This country must work. And if there are people who don't want this country must work, we must fish them out and teach them the lesson of destroying this country. Nigeria is still salvageable. But if the Supreme Court decides to do what is wrong, then to your tent, O Israel. My name is Magnus Sorak and I say please follow this page and share this post now. All right, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you right there. Thank you very much for your time with us. It's good to be back here again. Happy weekend to you all. Happy Sunday to you all. Uh, weekend already finished today. Uh, yes, thank you very much, my people. I guess everybody can hear me. This one, I don't have my people on screen yet. So if people can respond to me on time, that would be nice. Uh, how you guys doing, my people? We are going to be talking about this uh, situation that is going on right now. You know, from the beginning, this Muslim Muslim tickets, you know, many of us already know that it's going to cause a lot of chaos, a lot of confusions, and a lot of divisions amongst Nigerians. And it's already happening right now. So um, if you're listening to the video from uh, Magnus Raka, you, you, maybe you can understand where we are coming from. Remember, Gumin. I actually came out the other day saying that Tinubu must, Im with immediate effect, remove Wike as a f um, uh, FCT minister. If not, you know, um, they treated him. Now, uh, FFK have also come out today, you know, responded to Gume. We are going to be taking on that after recognizing everybody right here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you. Mother of all, mommy, that's where I good evening to you, mommy. Thank you very much for all you do. Happy Sunday to you. Thank you very much, my wonderful people. I appreciate every one of you. I can see Joseph. Josephine is here. Yeah, miracle be love. God is my strength. Uh, one so Emmanuel. Thank you very much. Good evening to you all. Nikki Oko Ogo. God bless you all. Vitals of Kwebele. Madam Ame Bright. Thank you. Vazik Bere. Timmy Dibe. Osara. Daddy. Nago Nago. Bless you all my people. Prince. Um. Uh, Mass Clinic, I can see you. Mercy, Amari Gay, thank you. Didi Anton in the building. Rosie Ayoshi is with us as well. Good evening to you all, my people. Press on that like button and let's do this together. Okay, let me post out a link now while I'm acknowledging people in case anybody want to join us. Today is Sunday. If you're available, join us. Um, if not two people we get today, we will just talk and end the show. So if not 10, we do it like that as well. I understand it's Sunday, and uh, for those of you that has already given up on the situation, remember, from tomorrow, we'll start following up with the Supreme Court. Um, we must have a new Nigeria in our time, a better Nigeria in our time. Thank you very much, um, Ghost Power. I can see right there. Good evening to you. You see, Andrew, I can see you. Eva Line, thank you very much. I appreciate you all. Uh, Shara Playhouse, good evening to you. Jack Obedient and many others right there. Thank you, thank you. Discussion Channel TV, I can see you as well. Edward de Guavo, thank you. Gift I want for. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. Uh, victory all the way. Thank you for joining us. Comments, I can see you. Samson Omori, Mary Fode, Anna, Rosalind, Obano, Ruense. Thank you very much. Clement, Emeni Keme. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, my wonderful people. Then we have Washington Omorige with us as well. Thank you very much for joining us. Then we have uh, Mr. Rita Okuns with us right there. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Blessing you know, of Thanks for joining us. And I appreciate your comment as well. Thank you, Lord of God. is my strength already for the super chat. May God bless you. May your pocket never run dry, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Amaka Fujb in the building. Good evening to you, madam. Thanks for joining us. Push mom in the building as well. Thanks for joining us. Michael Ganemaro in the building thank you very much my wonderful people cxl i can see you right there dr of zion i can see you blessing of Kafo, thank you very much i appreciate every one of you mike akion barry thank you thank you see me Kafo, and many others mother ellen is right there as well good evening good evening alice isa I can see you right there and god bless you now i can see you angolo emmanuel 
uh, Chooks, thank you. Thank you, Tony, Maduke, Neil, James. Thank you. Thank you, my people. Michael, I can see you as well. Cassava Junction right there with us. Social Metal TV is with us as well. Now, God, God bless you now, my people. Now, plenty today, no be small. Shala David, Adelaja, Ogumbiyi. Good evening, good evening, good evening, my people. At this world, so I get there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all, my people. Larry O.B., Austin Prince, Hilo, Chris. Thank you. I appreciate you now. Ikechuku, Ike. Thank you very much, sir. I can see you all. Sarah, I can see you. Madam Nena in the building. Thank you very much, my people. Then we have Sandra Benguelin, uh, Oriomi Abdul, Emmanuel Basse, and many others. In case I didn't mention your name, please understand with us. It's not retentional. Just understand that, yes, now where my gun goes, they say I'm rich, now they will talk and rich. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Jonathan Kisley. I can see you already in the backstage. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Uh, good evening to you. How are you doing today, sir? Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. Uh, doing, doing very well today. And uh, thanks, thanks, thanks to everyone. Thanks, uh, Mr. Elvis, for the for the great job. God bless you. God bless everyone. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll come back to you. Thank you. All right. We have Chris Amenike OB. Thank you, Raf Oli. Thanks for, for joining us. Thank you, my wonderful people. Everyone of you, everyone go and many others. Okay. Uh, let's listen to what FFK have to say here. It's a strong one. Well, let's take it from here. Uh, <laughs> Anthony, all I just come in. Thank you very much. God will bless you. I've been making a press on the like button. Currently, our like is 117, just 117. Although we only have about 400 people watching us, it's not much. But at least our like should be a min at least a minimum of 250 is good. A minimum of 250 will be good. So if you are hearing my voice, press on the like button. It's currently on 118. 118 continue to press on it 120 now i'm looking at it so while we are waiting for more people to like then let's listen to what ffk have to say then we'll take it from there thank you concerned about the rantings of this little monkey against the government because there are many people that are in government that are paid to respond to him and handle that um and i am not in government however i am concerned about his rantings against the Christian community and against what I believe to be Southerners generally, both Christian and Muslim. That's how I'm reading all that he has said. Um, now, he has said Christians cannot be trusted with power because when in power and when they have, when they're in control of guns or, where they, where, or where, when they're in power, they kill people, they kill leaders, they kill followers, they kill whereas Muslims do not. But let me ask him this question. Was it the Christians that slaughtered over 100,000 people in northern Nigeria in 1966 in pogroms? Was it the Christians that killed over 300 Igbo officers in the July 29, 1966 counter-coup? Was it Christians that slaughtered people all over the North from 1970 up until the present day, all over the North, slaughtered Christians, whether it be through Boko Haram, Iswap, Maitatsini, uh, and so many other extremist, barbaric terrorist organizations? Was it a Christian that said that he would rather die than allow uh, a Muslim to rule over the affairs of Nigeria? Was it not Sheikh Ahmed Gumi's father, Sheikh Abu Bakr Gumi, that rather said that he would rather die than to allow a Christian to rule our country? And amazingly, he died a few months later, and a Christian took and a Christian took power. All the butchery and the mass murders that have taken place in northern Nigeria and even parts of southern Nigeria, in Zangon Kataf, in southern Kaduna, in Numan, in Adamawa State, in Benue State, in Taraba State, in Plateau State, all over the north, where Christian communities were targeted by various Islamist groups and various terrorist groups 
and butchered in their homes and hacked to pieces. And even parts of the South, when the Fulani herdsmen were down in the South, butchering people as far as the East, as far as Yoruba land, northern Yoruba land, and as far as parts of the, 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 the South South. Were these people that perpetuated these as Christians? Or were they terrorists? I won't call them Muslims. I'll call them terrorists because they do not represent Islam. These people were butchers and barbarians, rather like Hamas. And what they were doing to people is precisely what Hamas did to the, Christ, uh, to the, to the Jews on October 7th of this month. So he should stop trying to make it look as if only Christians kill. Human beings kill one another. And that's a tragedy. But he should stop pointing fingers at the Christian community and stop disregarding the fact that there are many millions of decent, God-fearing Muslims in both the North and the South who cannot be categorized as terrorists like him. Let me just add this. The terrorists that he represents kill not just Christians, but they kill Muslims too. If not, if not that that were the case, how do you explain the fact that these same terrorists that this man represents and constantly defends and helps and rationalizes and negotiates on their behalf and so on and so forth and speaks for them and is their main advocate. That's what he does. He's their main advocate. These same terrorists slaughter Muslims in Sokoto, in Zamfara, in Kebi, in Jigawa, and all over the core north. They also slaughter Muslims in Borno, in Yobe, in Adamawa, and all over the northeast. So, the people he represents, or rather the animals that Sheikh Ahmad Gumi represents, are not Muslims, they're terrorists, and they kill as many Muslims as they do Christians. They kill both Christians and Muslims. So who is he to now get up and say that Christians cannot be trusted with guns or positions of power or in the military or in the security agencies or intelligence agencies? This issue is above politics. If we are one nation, we should learn to respect one another. Nothing matters more than this. Whether you're a northerner, a southerner, a Christian, or a Muslim, respect one another. Other than that, we may not have a nation left. And God forbid that this country should be engulfed in a religious crisis or another war. May God forbid that. I'll be writing on this in the next couple of days, but this is just a, a shot. And I would have gone much further had it not been for the fact that the governor of his state, that is, uh, Governor Obasani, is a good friend of mine. And out of respect to him, I'll be a little bit more restrained than I ordinarily would have been on this Gumi man, if not for that. But let it be clear to the whole country, we as Christians will not bow to anybody. And neither will rational, reasonable Muslims bow to his type of terroristic rhetoric. And neither will we let such people push us into a civil war we want peace in this country and i call on the government the dss the police and all the security agencies and president bola tinumbu to ensure that this man is called to order that he's called in he's warned he's arrested and if necessary prosecuted for incitement and an attempt to destabilize our country thank you oh, more. <laughs> This one a serious one from uh, FFK Fanny Kayade. Um, I don't know uh, about you guys, you know, because we are going to be discussing this. I would like to hear from people to let us know if you support what FFK just said on this audio, or if you disagree with him. For me, on this one, I will stay neutral first. I would like to hear from people before we move on. But before that, let's talk about. Uh, I have another video to quickly play here, then we'll take it from here. Please press on the like button, my people, and let's do this together. Press on the like uh, like button, you know. Thank you very much, my people, for the state, you know, currently, currently, uh, the state of the uh, nation, 
let me okay let's take this article before the the video let me quickly take this article clerics i've sent a warning you know you know we'll be talking about clerics uh pastors religious leaders and all that you know i'm not sure which one is part of those uh that send this message but i would like us to listen together let me bring this in press on the like button my people god bless you all this is a, a sunday broadcast you know, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone of you. Today is 22nd of October, 2023. Let's do this together. Tomorrow is 23. And I know we take that one, me. Is the, is the kick, kick, uh, kick start of the Supreme Court uh, judgment. So, um, okay, let me quickly bring this in here. I was just trying to take lots of distractions out of it. Okay, I'll put this on screen in the next uh, 10 seconds. There you go, we are almost there. We are there now. Okay, let's take this together quickly. As you can see that one right there, uh, state of the nation, Nigeria going down the drain, cleric tells Tenable. So let's see what they have to say here. The senior pastor of awaiting the second coming of Christ ministry, Adewale Giwa has raised the alarm that the cost of living by Nigerians was getting worse. Okay, let's see what they have to say here. Just that the advert uh, Vanguard always carry, the, the, I don't know. Giwa has therefore called on President Bola Tinubu to urgently find a lastly solution to the rising cost of living. Then went on by saying the cleric who spoke in Akure, the Ondo state capital, said that the president uh, should resign if he does not have solutions to a series of challenges facing the nation. Giwa specifically said Tinubu's emergence as president had further caused a serious setback in Nigeria. He said, unquote, I want the continual the continuation of APC in the presidency would cripple Nigeria economy. Of course, we know how they got to power, but let me leave that for now. Can someone advise President Tinubu to honor honorably resign if he doesn't know what he is doing? He needs to sleep and wake up with pro proactive decisions to address issues of petroleum and current economic hardship in no time. How can you put the cart before the horse? By removing subsidy hurriedly, you are doing things in the wrong way. It is a shame that we have to go through this. Uh, again, after the eight years of uh, Mala administration of former President Bola, uh, uh, Muhammad Buhari, you don't need to be prophet or seer to know the APC is on a suicide mission to finally kill and bury Nigeria. Okay, uh, I will take that out. You know, I know say on this platform, how things be, and I said, they talk um, since a cleric is out, I don't get one pastor now, we don't speak, we have to show it. And you know the way it is. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate every one of you right there. Okay, I can see you, Mr. Shook. So be boys, just joining us right now. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. I'll come back to you guys shortly. But before that, I would like us to quickly um listen to this. A new move to consolidate his government in the last week announced a barrage of appointees to head various departments and agencies of the federal government after sacking previous occupants appointed by the previous Muhammad Buhari administration. The appointments focused on the heads of the information and orientation agencies to CEOs of public development banks, customs auditor general and public health institutions like the NPHCDA and Nigeria Health Insurance uh, National Health Insurance um, Authority. But there have been appointment flip flops too from President Tinubu that have made critics to wonder if the announcement of public appointees are given a deeper thought before being made public. One of such is the appointment and withdrawal of the young and 24 year old Imam Kashimi Imam as the chairman of the Board of Directors of the Federal Roads Maintenance Agency, FEMA. The 24-year-old first-class graduate of mechanical engineering from the University of Sussex 
only uh, completed his National Youth Service Corps, NYC, in August 2022. His father, Kashim Ibrahim Imam, is a close associate of President Bola Tinubu. Now, the appointment generated a huge controversy, with many saying he lacked the requisite experience for the job and that the appointment was nothing but the height of political cronyism under the Tinubu led federal government. Following the public uproar that greeted the appointment, the president has now reversed his action. Recall that the president made a similar change of mind with the appointment of ministerial nominee from Kano State Mariam Shetty just moments to her screening at the National Assembly, uh, where the nominee was already at the floor of the Senate. Even the president's appointment of Ola Ulukoede as the new chairman of EFCC has been widely criticized by many, arguing that he's not qualified for the position with some CSOs holding process and a uh, sorry, protest and a lawyer heading to court to challenge the appointment. President Bola Tinubu is also being criticized by many Nigerians for concentrating major appointments in the southwest of the country, specifically with his appointees emanating from his native Yoruba tribe, raising questions on the issues of federal character and nepotism, like it happened under the immediate past administration of former President Muhammad Buhari. Critics claim that Tinubu's appointments system is in crisis and that he is not fully in charge. Well, joining us now is the renowned professor of new public management at the Nasara State uh, University's Department of Public Administration, Professor Charles Nwekiaku. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, yes. Um, and with us is a public policy expert a uh, petroleum engineer and lecturer with the Bayes University in Abuja, Dr. Rufai Al-Kali. Thank you so Al much. Yeah, welcome to the program. Abu Bakr Al-Kali. Yeah, Abu Bakr <laughs> Al-Kali. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. All right, so let's talk, uh, let's start with you, uh, Prof. Uh, having seen all that we've seen, you are an expert, I mean, in management issues. Yes. Uh, the highest level of management in Nigeria and elsewhere uh, begins from the presidency. What do you think of the president's uh, administrative style uh, in trying to build this management team so far? Thank you so much. Um, I had expected that in view of the, the dy dynamic nature of the society, where you now have a major paradigm shift, for example, in governance, emphasis is no longer being made on the traditional system of administration. Because traditional system of administration is characterized by excessive delay, unnecessary protocol, over process, due process, overdue process, delay, lack of creativity, and so forth. We had expected that the coming in of Tinimbo's administration will embrace new public management. New public management actually emphasizes a paradigm shift, where you now, instead of uh, emphasizing on this issue of due process and this thing, you concentrate on getting results. Instead of bogus cabinet, you think of lean cabinet. Instead of concentrating much on government, you think government doing less. So these are the cardinal principles of new public management. And you look for creativity, you look for this thing. For example, look at when Tinimbu was sworn in, the first political statement, policy statement he made was removal of oil subsidy. Without new public management would have said no. First commission a small study. Let a team look into the issue of oil subsidy and give you everything and advise you on what to do. That could be done within two weeks. He didn't do it. And you remember that the regime of uh, Buhari actually programmed subsidy to Lati end of June. He truncated it by one month, removed it without any, uh, that is the necessary, uh, uh, necessary preparation for that. And you can see how we have some assorted. Look at the, we look at the value of Naira today, almost over 1,000, 1,150 Naira because of this somersault. And then you see the bogus cabinet. How many ministers now? <laughs> the constitution says one minister per state. That should have been 36. 
You should have plus, uh, plus FCT. FCT at, least, at, at least. least. Yeah, at least. Actually, but but at that least. doesn't stop yeah. him from No, more. because of the nature of our economy. Our economy is in commentaries. So, Mr. President shouldn't have embarked on Bogos' cabinet. But he has done that. You see, is it the loan? Look at the justification well, for that's the new one point five. Isn't it? Because right. management no, 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 no. cannot no. be restricted. The creativity is not there. Creativity is it's like most of the decisions are based on this. How can the media will be defending the presidency? How? This is strange. How can you are a moderator, the anchor of this program? In a rise, you are defending Tinubu. Just you guys listen. For of the moment, without much thinking, only to come back and realize the mistakes. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll bring you in. <laughs> I mean, the president has his own uh, management style that he's uh, embarking on, but we've also seen flip flops here and there. Uh, what do you make of President Tunubu's recent appointments? I mean, just in the last week, we saw several of those appointments mm -hmm. uh, coming in. Uh, and some people have said, this, it looks like an appointment bazaar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, thank you so much, Editor, again. I, I think, um, uh, more than anything, the president is trying to consolidate his hold, you know, uh, uh, on power. And uh, also, I think um, it is like a response to some of the of the uh, criticisms, you know, some of the complaints regarding. Let me listen to the other man, you know, um, so that th there's something. That, OK, let's come back to this man again. You see, when people talk of capacity, I, love I don't know what they mean by capacity. You remember before the general election, the general, uh, what people come here to say, they tell you that in the South East, that there were, there, were, uh, there were no people with capacity to do this. And I challenge them. If you are talking of capacity, how do you measure capacity? Are you saying that you, during your secondary school, you beat these people? In the university, you beat them. You are the people who beat you in everything. Go to GCE. These are uh, international, uh, that is standard you can measure. Capacity. I don't know what they want to by capacity. You go to, look at the appointment that have been done. It is also not right. It is not right to say that every uh, administration has been accused. No. Obasanjo is from Southwest. He tried to balance, giving every section a sense of belonging including those that didn't vote for him, okay? Now, this time around, look at the appointment that have been done. How many are from the Southeast? Are you telling me that there are no people with the capacity in the Southeast? I, I, is that what any person wants me to believe? You, five ministers from Southeast. Others had minimum of eight. This is one. And now, look, look at major establishments. Look at CBN. Look at uh, federal and revenue and everything. You don't have capacity. At the CBN, somebody from Southeast has PhD in economics, more qualified than any other person there, but he was attracted. I can keep on mentioning, so let us not talk of capacity. So the, the capacity you are talking of, we can see it now. What is the danger of Naira today? How much do you buy um, a liter of uh, petroleum? What is inflation? Yeah, but rent? sometimes so isn't it his entitlement? It, no, 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 no. His own it's administrative style. Yes, but I mean, because it's an executive you power You can that's see given to him. political somersault here and there because I don't even see the capacity in the appointment because the people are not performing. There are people who are there to do the thing. They are being satrapped, maybe because of where they come from. So we cannot continue to hide in the issue of capacity. So yeah, what no, do you say of the gone. young boy, for example, who was made the uh, former uh, chairman, but mm. whose nomination had to be withdrawn? Well, it's part of the, you see, this is the era of paradigm shift. Before you appoint somebody, you're supposed to have assessed the person, secretaries and other things. But this one, you appoint in the morning, in the evening, your counsel. That doesn't show consistency. That doesn't show analytical skill. Is it appointment is not a thing you just wake up and make. Before you appoint somebody, you consider a number of things. Yes, he said the issue of federal character, section 14, subsection 3, is very important. Are we adhering to that? No. 
Are you telling me that you don't have competent people in Southeast, in all these things? Who is talking of that? You are talking of competence. Go and check JAMB. Where do you get best students? Go and check GCE. Go and check other things. When it comes to appointment, people will tell you capacity. We, we are tired of capacity. Let this government sit up. And you are talking of capacity. You are talking of a region that was able to withstand 30 months war without there was land blockade, air blockade, sea blockade. But people of the Biafra, South Yeah, but the president has no, no, also no, no, appointed no, no, no. lots but of people how many? in this government that how, we have seen. How, how, in how this many? last one that we've seen, Which including one? even the national I saw one. Uh, primary health care development agency. We've seen other, see. other ones that have so, come out. Uh, the president trying to see how uh, he Mr. can Mr. manage Mr. Uh, disappointments. Hasn't really, he hasn't really been fair. Can you imagine? Can you, a presenter in Narise, speaking for Tinubu, telling us that the president is trying to see how he can manage the appointment? He's a spokesperson at the moment for Bola Ahmed Tinubu. You guys can see the level of our media in Nigeria. It's, it, you, you are hearing him, right? <laughs> oh, wow. We have a long way to go. Let's just keep our fingers crossed for the Supreme Court to do the right thing. At the moment now, all I can see, Nigerians are sleeping. So I don't know whether they wake up, but at the moment they are still sleeping. So the only hope right now is Supreme Court. Because I, for me, I don't have hope for Nigerians. I don't have hope for them. I'm sorry. I don't. In, Which one? Including even the national I saw one. Uh, primary health care development agency. We've seen it's other it's other ones that have so come out. Mr. Uh, the president Mr. trying to see how we can Mr. manage Mr. Uh, disappointments. Hasn't really, he hasn't really been fair to the people of well, South well, East. And when people come to the opinion because wait, he has he administrative has, power no, to no, be no. able to do yes, that. Yes, he says he's prerogative. But we are asking him to be fair. Okay. To every and section of the country. South East is every country. section of the country, okay. not okay. just Let South me come East. To you. Every what is what's called distributive justice when you have to do with appointments generally? What do you make of uh, consultations but in I now your area of you, practice? Are we getting that results? Tell me the area we are getting the results. Which area is Nigeria getting it right? Well, the cabinet yeah, is talking, still wait, new. Wait now, wait. Since May. What was the exchange rate of Naira before May 29? What is the exchange rate now? What was the inflationary trend rate before May 29? And what is it now? What was the pump price of fuel before 29th May and now? Because you are saying that you are getting excellent result. I don't see the excellent result because of capacity team. Well, the president we are, is still we're, building we're, his we're, team. For, if he's still building, wait, that means... How can a presenter, a journalist, telling Nigerians that all you are seeing at the moment from Bola Metinobo is an excellent result. How? Many of you are listening to me right now because some of you might say now, oh, this is hatred. Let's be fair. Let's, let us be fair to ourselves. Depend on the country you are watching us from right now. Tell me. That country, the media in the country where you reside right now, do they support the government or the people? So what this man can see now, this Arise uh, uh, presenter or journalist, is excellent result from Bola Ahmed Now. The, 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 the guest was asking him about the, 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 the rate of dollar before Bola Ahmed Tinubu came in, before May 29. The petrol per liter before May 29. And our debt before May 29. He could not answer any. Listen. Listen. He could not answer any. Before May 29. And what is it now? What was the pump price of fuel before 29th May and now? Because you are saying that you are getting excellent results. I don't see the excellent result because of capacity team. Well, the president we are, is still wait, building wait, his wait, team. Wait, for, if he's still building, wait, that means he's still wait, appointed. Wait, it can you imagine?
the president is still building his team. Five months in office. Nigerians are dying every day. Guess what, guys? The era of bank robbery have started again. Three bank, rob uh, uh, bank robbery have happened yesterday and today. I believe one also happened about two days ago. And we don't know how many that is going to happen tomorrow. Many people, they lose their life doing this oppression. Right? Kidnapping have skyrocketed. Right? Ah. And this man said the president is still building his team. You see, defending somebody, I don't have problem with it. I don't have problem. If you want to defend Tinubu, that's fine. I don't have problem with it. But defend these people and say the truth. It doesn't matter if you love somebody. You can, it's just like I normally say on this platform. If you, whenever you know I'm doing something wrong, please draw me back because I'm a human being. I'm not a perfect person. If you now decided to say, oh, because you love me so much, you don't want to bring my attention to my wrong, then I will know you hate me so much. If Peter will be, by God's grace, finally end up the president uh, uh, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria tomorrow, I will be his number one critique. That is the best way you can do a better job. Now, for a journalist to be saying that Tinubu is still building five months in office, Tinubu is still building. With the pains that we are facing right now, this same man lives in Nigeria. He can see what is happening in Nigeria right now. And he said he's still building. Ah, ah wow. Ah, wow. This is the reason why I brought this video. Because when I bring some videos here, some of you might have watched it, but you can't see the, 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 the things that we, we, we want to analyze. Let's listen like the next five minutes. As of fuel, before 29th May and now, because you are saying that you are getting excellent result. I don't see the excellent result because of capacity team. Well, the president are, is still wait, building wait, his wait, team. Wait, if he's still building, wait, that means he's still wait, appointed. Wait. It My colleague talk of for national interest. Yes. National interest. I, I don't know how people define national interest. But I think national interest, it has to be the interest that is subjective and the interest that, to some extent, is embracing that serves majority. But when you keep on making major appointments from one section, yes, we know that Buhari administration did it. We expected that this administration should correct it. It didn't go well with Nigeria. And you see where the country is. He continued it and see where the country is going. As a matter of fact, merit is not being considered. You because, think so? Because the president says because we, because we are based on merit. Wait, so, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a different ballgame yes, yes. when you Summer, say, the, do they have the qualifications Summer, or not? See, in my place, a blind man was told that there are three lumps of meat in his soup. He said, well, I don't see. When one lump enters my mouth, I know one has entered. So, merit, merit, it has to be done with the result. Where are the results? And the, so the, the, the merit it, applies to only it. when the appointments <laughs> or appointees actually come from your own part of the country. No, That's no, no, also no. We are not talking essentially southeast. Mm -hmm. There are many areas that have been shortchanged. And you keep on concentrating the appointment from one section. In the first place, remember that the resources are mobilized from all parts of the country. So, and if that is the case, in the appointment, you also try to reflect that federal character as provided in section 14, subsection 3. It is not being done. Two, you find that if you are talking of new Very public quick, management, yes, yeah. Yeah. if you are talking of new public management, government should perform, should govern. Okay, let me stop that video right there. This is sad. Very, very, very sad. But meanwhile, I appreciate every one of you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. I'd like us to start talking uh, right now. Uh, let me quickly appreciate some of you that is right there that just coming in right now. Thank you very much for joining us, my people. I can see a few names coming in uh, constant. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Good evening to you. 
Juliet Holland, thank you very much, and many others. Now, God, and God bless you now. Grace continue. Thank you very much for joining us, and many, many more. Good evening to every one of you. So let me, I have somebody joining us from Nigeria. I would like to call him first. Uh, Mr. Sunday, can you hear me? Yeah, good evening. Yeah, Please thank I you very much. Okay, thank you. Please, uh, which state are you joining us from? Um, please, um, good evening to everyone. Please, I'm, I'm not actually in Nigeria right now. Okay, okay. So I'm not in Nigeria, yes. But you're in Africa, right? Yes, I'm in Ghana. I'm not in Nigeria right now. I'm in Ghana. Okay, you're in Ghana. Okay, because I can see from your yes. background. Okay, go ahead, sir. Talk to us. Yeah, good evening to everyone. And then good evening, good afternoon to everyone listening to us. Uh, thank you very much. It's been a while since I... But I've been listening to you. In fact, I've been following by just that. I was quite busy, so I couldn't join. So, oh, that's fine. Um, yeah, I've been listening to every day. I listen to you. In fact, I've been following what is happening in the country. It's so disheartening, you know. And what uh, Gumi, what the statement he made, if it were to be Peter Obi who made such a statement, uh, but now I think uh, you will see these people on the media asking for his arrest immediately. You see, so that is the, 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 the nature, the, the state of the country right now. Those who are calling for, you know, a, 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 a bad governance in Nigeria are the same people that the country is fighting against. So what I want to say is that... Uh, Tinubu, his time is up. And I still believe that this man, huh, he will definitely be vacated from the office. Because he has, he, he has in fact, he has, he has made the greatest mistake of his life by con contesting for the highest seat in Nigeria. So what I want to say is that uh, I thank God for FFK. In fact, though I'm not his fan, I don't follow him. I don't, I don't have anything to do with him. But based on what he said, he has said the truth. I don't know what the D DSS are doing. I don't know what they are there doing since this man came out and then he just said anything. You know, these people, they know the kind of man Tunibu is and they know the kind of country we are. So they realize that they can just come out and say anything and nothing will happen to them. That is why. Because all of them, all of them are cooked. They are together. They are in the same APC. So they know themselves. He knew he can come out and say anything and nothing will happen to him. So, so we should all keep hope alive. Though I don't, in fact, a lot of things. It seems in Nigeria right now, a lot of people seem unconsigned. It seems... Everybody just moving. People are just going about their businesses. It's as if, uh, okay, we will leave, all of us will live in it like that. But for what I know, this country will be better. And Tunibu, he will never be, in fact, he will never be the president of Nigeria. His time is up. His, his end is just closer and closer by the day. He's getting closer by the day very close and i believe that very soon when this fight is over we will all thank god and we will remember how we started this fight and we we'll always give glory to god and especially the obedient movement that i want to say that in fact this movement is just now it's not it is not just an ordinary movement God is backing this movement because when you follow everything that happened, the more they try to hide, the more they expose themselves. The more they try to, you know, cover up things, the more they get themselves exposed. That tells you that uh, God is behind whatever is happening in Nigeria. And I still believe that. Huh, very soon something is going to happen. And... We will thank God and praise God one day because there's a news that now some of the Supreme Court judges, some of them has decided not to join the panel again. But I don't know how true it is. That is what I've been hearing. So thank you very much. God bless each and everyone. 
And then let's keep hope alive. Though we do, I don't trust the judiciary, but I trust God that this country will be better. Thank you. God bless each and every one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. for joining us. May God bless you. I appreciate you. All right, my people, thank you very much for uh, your time with us. If you're just coming in right now, we are here talking about the things that's affecting you and I. It's all about our country. So please um, help us to share and uh, like this broadcast so our voices can go far. Okay, Madam Nena, you said that Mr. Elvis, I sent something to your private WhatsApp number. Okay, okay, I'll check it. I'll check it out. Thank you very much. All right. Um, Thank you very much, my people. Patricia, I know for my dear sister, I can see you right there. Thank you very much for joining us and many, many more. Okay, let me call on the first person on the panel today, uh, which is Mr. Jonathan Kinsley. Mr. Jonathan Kinsley, thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Please talk to us, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. And uh, thanks to everyone, all the panelists, all the submission, and uh, to everyone that is uh, all those that are watching watching thank you you know i when i look when i listen to the the video you know that you you presented today it just you know brought me back to where nigeria is you know where nigeria is currently is now that country is a fraud that country called nigeria is a fraud whether you like it or not People who want to continue deceiving themselves, they can do that. It is at your own peril. You have family there, your families are there, you have investment there, you have people there, and you still think that there's a country, you are just, you are deceiving yourself. It's a fraud. Even to start with, even look, look when that man, that, uh, what's his name, uh, Fanny Kayode was talking, I just, you know, it's, it's so disgraceful. If to start with, Nigeria, if you look at the Nigerian currency, there is an Islamic inscription on Nigerian currency. For every Nigerian, maybe people, we don't take cognizance of it, or we don't take it serious. On the Nigerian currency, the Naira, there is an Islamic inscription on the 500 Naira or the 1,000 Naira, the two highest denomination currency of that nation. There is, there is, and somebody will say, you know, that country is not tilted or it's not even tilted toward, towards, you know, being an Islamic nation. Then you can continue to deceive yourself. Where, where can that be? How, can, how could that have happened? Fanika Yode has no, he, he, has, he has no, Truth capital to spend. When you say truth capital, Fanny there has no truth capital of any kind. I don't care what he came out to say today. Don't bring that religious division, that religious card. Don't throw it here. He has no truth capital of any kind. Fanny Kayode, who for food. Okay, let him before before you can even accept anything from Fanny Kayode at this point in time at this moment. Let Fanny Kayode come out and state clearly his position on Tinubu certificate of forgery, the way Mobedele Momodu did. Let him come out and state it clearly, and then we can put it side by side and say, okay, you have what we what we call truth capital. That means you have truth to spend. You don't have any truth to spend at all. Because those in government, like him, all those that are in Tinubu's government, like him, all of them have kept quiet on the forgery issue. And even on this relig on, on religious issue as well. So what does that tell me? That tells me that if you, if you are in government, and you also, you have kept quiet as far as the forgery is concerned. You are just a, you are, you are, you are a psychophant. And that's who Fanny Kayode is. Fanny Kayode is an opportunist. I mean, Fanny Kayode, Fanny, Fanny for food, is an opportunist. 
He is an opportunist. It's not for it's not from him at all. He has no transparency capital, no morality capital of any kind to be preaching religious issues or religious division. He's an opportunist. Let him come out and state his position on forgery. Then we can say, okay, what you are saying now, you are not saying it out of desperation, out of hypocrisy. Because if you are in that government today, you will have kept quiet on this gloomy matter. The way your fellow psychophants who are in that government today are doing. Why can't they come out and say the same thing? What we are doing right now? They declared. So don't be, don't let these people, the same way this man yesterday, which man, the guy, what, what, what's, what's his name? They think we are just fools in that country. That when it suits their whims and caprices, they can come out and gaslight us. That's gaslighting. And I think Dele Mamadou puts this, you know, he, 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 put, he put it well earlier to me in that video. If you had at any time, if you are a politician in Nigeria, or you are you are an elite in Nigeria, and you are you are at any point in time in the last 20 years criticize any government at all in Nigeria, from Obasanjo to Buhari, that you have said something, you know, either constructively or openly just to come out and criticize them on any issue at all. And you have nothing to say on forgery today. You are a, you are just a dictionary definition of hypocrisy. That's who you are. You are a dictionary definition. That's what the hypocrisy is. Is that's the meaning of hypocrisy? Because at one point or the other, you have criticized government after government from 1999 to date on the same issue at one point or the other. And if you cannot do that now, you are just a, you are a psychopath, you are an hypocrite. And that's who Femi Kayo did. So what, why, why would I listen to him? He's just gaslighting. He's an opportunist. That's who Femi Kayo did is. I'm not deceived. And I know Nigerians, many Nigerians like myself are not deceived. I can I, I cannot sit down and listen to Fanika and take morality from Fanika or day for crying out loud. Why would I take morality from Fanny Fanny for food Kai or day? Why? Who would at this point in time? Let him just go. We know he, we know that he's a, he is an opportunist, just gaslighting. Nigeria, the, 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 the talk of Nigeria media. Let's just you know, the media is biased. They just can't do the simple job of journalism. That's simple, just journalism. Ask question, leave your guests to answer the question and move on. Not taking the responses of your guests, analyzing it, taking position in favor of the, of, of the sitting government. That's why you invited the person. You want to hear his opinion. And now he's putting out his opinion and you are now taking side. Like, That's not your job. That's not journalism. It's for you to ask the question. Let them answer the question. And then you move on. If you want to take them on, on their responses, that's you won't take side. It's not by taking side. We know those are not journalists. What they have now, the TV stations right now, even including Arise, all of them, is an extension of Aso Rock, is an extension of Tinubu Media Department. They are just an extension of Tinubu's media department. These are not journalists, as we speak right now. These are jobbers. These are brown envelope takers. They can come out and defend themselves if they are not. And say the truth for once. If they are not jobbers, because they are defending, they are keeping their job. And they sacrifice morality, they sacrifice integrity, because they are jobbers. They are envelope takers. 
So that country is a, is just is, is a fraud. If anything, if anything at all, Nigeria is where mediocrity has replaced excellence and competence. It's just mediocrity. It's what you see everywhere, just mediocrity. Mediocrity is in charge over excellence. And when that happens, the only thing you see, the outcome is, is, is economy disarray, criminality, increasing level of poverty. That's what you will see when, you, when mediocrity is in charge. When mediocrity is in charge, as we see now, what you will see, the outcome, it has a, it has, it has a final outcome. The product is economy disarray. It's criminality, increased cr criminality. Increasing, increasing poverty level, and to worse it all, when mediocrity is in charge, as it is in Nigeria now, the rule of law will be completely abandoned. They will abandon rule of law. The man there, that prof there, was talking about was talking about capacity, competence. That's what they preach. They will talk of capacity. And then they will talk of capacity, right? Fine. And now you bring a 24-year-old to go and head the federal agency with no experience of any kind. Tell me any major country, any major country, I stand to be corrected. Any major country in the world or any developing nation in the world, check all their age, their institutions. If you see a 24-year-old man, man taking charge, Yes, they are the youth. They will take eventually. They they, they they will take charge. They need to be in position of authority. They be, they need they, there is need for them to be groomed to groom the you know the younger ones so that they can eventually take charge. But not this. This is not how it is done. We all know it. This is just nepotism. This is just political cruising. This is just political poli political greed. That we see playing out. And when we have this, all this going on, all this, this, this rubbish going on, we should just manage our expectations. Let us manage our expectations and expect nothing. Nothing from the Supreme Court who's sitting is starting tomorrow. Let us manage our expectations. Because as I said earlier, nothing because it's a country of mediocrity. It's a country where mediocrity is in charge, is in charge of everything, is in charge of the of, of, of the rule of law. Mediocrity is in charge. If not, if not mediocre, if not, let somebody come out and explain to me why the Supreme Court will appoint someone who has an obvious dispute interest on a case and you appoint him to sit on the panel of that case if it is if that is not mediocrity tell me what that is you appointed someone that you know you know obviously that there is a there's an obvious you know the person will take side a family member is a family member of of of, of the of the judge is is, is is a card carrying member of the political party that you are going to be sitting on the case on 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 on, 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 on his case on the case of that political party and you appointed that judge that's obvious and you are telling us that that's not mediocrity it's simply mediocrity it simply means that you are not you are not you are not you are not, you are not scheming or striving for excellence you are not you are not striving for justice it's pure mediocrity at its bed at its very best so you want the judge now to sit down now so you're expecting the judge because the judge will be thinking if this case should go against you should go the way it should be most likely most likely, I could be affected in one way or the other. Because my family, direct family, not uncles, direct family, blood relation. That is what is called conflict of interest. 
there is a clear conflict of interest. Appointing that person in the first place speaks, it speaks loud, it speaks clear. So let's just manage our expectations starting tomorrow. Nothing more than mediocrity, criminality, and the abandonment of the rule of law. We are going to see it, we are going to see it openly again tomorrow, as far as I'm concerned. Because mediocrity is in charge of that nation right now. All the appointment that we've seen so far. It's pure, that, that's, that's just what it is. We should not expect anything, anything less from these people. Absolutely nothing less from these people. And that's where we are now in Nigeria. It's just the country is a, it is, it is, it is, it is a complete fraud. When it favors them, they will come out and speak. Gumi will come out now and speak because it's not in their favor. They thought Muslim Muslim ticket will favor them. Now it's, it's, it's kind of playing out that it's not, it's not in their favor. Now it's crying, it's crying, it's, it's crying out loud and it wants, it wants all air to break loose. For him and for their clique in the north. Without conceding that Inubu is doing anything good. Yes, he's not doing anything good. But at the same time, it is not still the fact that Inubu is not doing anything good now. He's still not playing out. He's not he's still not playing well for, 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 for most of his, his backers in the north. It's still not going out the way they want it to go. And now they are crying out loud. It's talking about FCT Abuja. That FCT belongs, FC, F, F, FCT belongs, it, 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 belo it belongs to the north. Where is FCT amongst any of the six geopolitical zones? In whichever way they spin it, the 25% will come back because when it favors them, they speak against the 25% requirement in Abuja. When it does not favor them, now it, it, the argument now is in favor of 20 that you must have 25% in Abuja because that's their position now. They are shooting themselves in the foot. Because now that argument, that woman's argument, that woman's position now is clearly saying that 25% is required in Abuja. So these people are just, you know, they are, they are just all, 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 they are just all over the place. So I will just, and before you say Jack, before you say Jack, the likes of Kani Fani Kayo, the Fani for food Kayo, they will be talking about DSS, be talking about the police, threatening people. Before people say anything, you will be talking about DSS, you will be talking about the police. Is that how a country is wrong? People cannot speak. People's right of right, right, you know, to you know, to free speech, they can't exercise it because we are going, so someone is going to threaten them with DSS, with the police. What has the police now got to do with everything that Fane Kayo they said now? What, what, has, what has the DSS got to do with it now? Can somebody just tell me the reason behind the DSS and the police has to come in into that statement made without conceding what Gumi said himself? What has he said now that now necessitate the need for him to be arrested because this is this is his right as a citizen to speak he has that right and he exercises it the way you just came out now and you exercise your own right of free speech because you are gaslighting too somebody else will also invite somebody else will also will also invite the dss on you then we have what we have a chaotic nation everybody you speak and then they call dss on you you call DSS on Gumi, Gumi call DSS on you. Is that how nation is wrong? That's what you get when mediocrity is in charge.
So I will, uh, Mr. Elvis, I, I will leave it. I will leave it at that for now. I just want to, you know, state clearly. Let us know that that country, Nigeria, is a fraud. If anything, starting tomorrow, we that stand for a good Nigeria, we should just manage our expectations. Let's do that. I will implore everyone. Let's manage our expectations. Let's focus. Let's remain focused. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your, appreciate your opportunity. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Jonathan Kingsley. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much uh, for always saying it. I it is. God bless you. I would like to quickly appreciate um, our love of God is my strength, but let me call on Madam Ame Bright. Madam Ame Bright, can you hear me, ma? Are you there? Mr. Chuchu so Bibo, are you there? Yeah, Mr. I'm here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, good sir. Good evening. Please, please, please talk, to yeah. talk to us. Thank you. Yeah, are good evening. Give us our mandate to enter house, according to Mr. Rita. I don't know why you no know, come be number one today, oh. eh? <laughs> Mr. Jonathan beat you to your game. Yeah, um, good evening, oh, Mr. Yeah, 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 it happens. Good evening, Mr. Elvis. Good evening, everyone listening to us. Good evening, those on the comment section. Good evening, fellow panelists. I stand on the established protocol by Mr. Jonathan. That was a wonderful submission. <laughs> Mr. Elvis, I'm Mr. voting for him sir? for today. Sir? I say I'm voting for him for today's uh, uh, submission of the day. Exactly. exactly. Man, it's outstanding. I can act. Look, I'm just, you know, just trying to, you know, relay what he said. That's that's what, because everything, I think he, he covered every inch, you know, especially on uh, for food, you know the way he captured his character mr jonathan I, I give you everything everything about today you know because this man we know him he's a gaslighter we know him when he was within nandekano and the championing the the cause of the of the the uh, uh, what is it called ipob and uh, so called uh, Igbo whatever we we are all aware right the gaslighting people there making them you know to do what they ought not to do we know when he came up with uh, christians versus muslim we know when he came up uh pdp versus apc i mean <laughs> Uh, we're still waiting on Jesus Christ to come. But already he, Jesus have come for him. Because he said it in by, uh, himself. The Christians are still waiting for Christ to come. But for him, Christ have already came. Because he said uh, until Christ came, he, he won't join APC. So if he's a member of APC today, which means his own Christ have come. <laughs> well, this time around, just like uh, Mr. Jonathan said, I'm not going to fall for him. He, he mentioned it strongly. Let no one think they're going to do Christian, keep them where they want. I don't know if he, he have all the backings of the Christians. But... Did you? Did anyone hear? Uh, heard him say, talk about the uh, appointment? The way the appointments is going. Did anyone uh, heard him mention the way uh, the appointment is going? So just like uh, Mr. Jonathan said, I am not in support of what Gumi said. I am very furious. I'm. I, I'm very angry about that. But for this man to come and. Uh, make me feel good that somebody is speaking for me 
It's a mistake from his side. Complete mistake. Because Nigerians who understands what he's doing, we know that is not for him for, for, for you or I. If you claim to be a Christian, and you know, does he 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 pretend to represent? It's not for me. I don't see him as somebody who is speaking for me. He might be fooling himself thinking, oh, he's speaking for the Christians. No, you're speaking for yourself. Were you not there when all these appointments were made? What did you say about it? Is that not an issue in Nigeria? If you so love Nigeria, is that not an issue? So, um, <laughs> for food, I'm sorry. I said 2023 opens a lot of Nigerians' eyes. This past election, it makes so many people understand the people they are following and you are big big time one of them some people have already left you some people knew who you were they knew who you are so i mean those who don't know you 2023 you know made them to know you Because as far as I'm concerned, you are both religious and ethnic bigots. As far as I'm concerned, that's my own opinion. For food, Coyote, for who you are, you are politically, religiously, and ethnically, I, I, I don't know how to say that one, but pardon me, right? These three things, you are a bigot on them. You are a big, big bigot on them. Because wherever you face in these three categories of uh, 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 discourse, you are you are a bigot. You are a failure on all three. So, I don't have much to say about you. Like I said. Mr. Jonathan have captured you well, and that is where I stand. Yeah, coming to the man who, you know, um, you showed um, you know, that uh, Sambo was talking to. Him. I know him. I, I've watched a couple of him. You know, even before this uh, administration, he is he is always strong on his you know language and you know um, the way he sees things. You know, and um, Sambo. You see, anybody who is appearing in Arise, we know all of them. Apart from one or two or three at max, they're all the same. They're all the same. We, we saw one day when uh, Libros, one of their uh, uh, analysts, came on. The one that said he, he, he is a lawyer. We, we knew who, what he said. So I'm not surprised that our, our Nigerian journalists, they have chickened in. I remember my earlier stage on this uh, very platform. I was so strong on our journalism. Our journalists. <laughs> But the media, in fact, media house, they're dead. There's nothing to write home about them. I was saying it then, that media houses is the biggest problem Nigeria have because they fail in their duty. What is the duty of media? It is to educate the people to hold the government responsible. If the government is doing something that they shouldn't do, it is for the media to call them out. Call them out. 
and thereby educating the people, telling the people that this is what the, the these people are doing. Telling you that this thing they are doing, they have no rights. We are, we are uh, for those of us who live in a, a diaspora, we can see it. The amount of knowledge you get from uh, 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 the media about the government and how it works. Because whenever the government touches something that they, they shouldn't, the media would be the first to cry over it. The media will make sure following it up until its logical conclusion. And that is why in Nigeria, it is hard for you to say, hey, this person is a leader. This is where he's going. As far as I'm concerned, apart from this time when Mr. Obi stood out, I've never had a leader because I don't know nobody. And we Nigerians, we don't ask questions. For instance, I give you an example of what I'm saying. Akpabio is being investigated. Till today, you and I don't know where that investigation uh, uh, stopped or where uh, the, the progress of that uh, uh, investigation. Ojo Zokalo, the same thing. Former uh, 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 AGF, the same thing. All these people, and tomorrow people will be talking leader, 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 leader. It doesn't make any sense. If the media is active, their duty is to go. All these things I mentioned, there are hundreds of it. Is it too much for the media to go to the prosecutor? Is it too much for the media to 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 go to the court and say we want to know the outcome of this the media is part of our problem in fact is one of the biggest problems exactly. Like exactly. exactly exactly you see media you see you see uh, uh, the, the the second one our our lawyers these two institutions failed Nigerians, all Nigerians. These two institutions. Because these are the people that who are supposed to be standing up for the people, speaking. And guess what happens? When the lawyers even come to speak, they speak based on their affiliations. They speak based on their affiliations. I don't want to mention names. But that is exactly what is going on. That body that represents lawyers, they never stand and say this. Imagine what is happening. Just like Mr. Jonathan said, they all kept mute about the result. I bet if, it, if that kind of thing happens here, police did not swing into action to take control of the whole thing and make sure they get to the bottom of that. I bet you the lawyers, the civil societies will be on it, whether you like it or not. They would be on it. So it is not unusual for Sambo to be asking that question. They all do. They all do. And do we know why? Because every time you want to, even me personally, I call some radio stations, TV stations to speak. They, they tell you to tune it down. Don't speak in that respect. Don't speak in that manner because you are injuring somebody. 
But look at the likes of Fanny Kayode. They are injuring all Nigerians. The likes of Gumi. The likes of uh, Erufaya. These people are injuring Nigerians day by day. They, they, they are talking about uh, 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 what is it called? The, the introducing new legislation about uh, 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 social media. But these people are not even on social media saying it. They are on the main media. They are main media saying it, releasing letters, printing it, and nobody is controlling them. Nobody is fi being fined. But come out now to speak for betterment of Nigeria. You will hear it. The next thing is either you're fine, is either you jailed or anything. But this lies. Like that, that Sambo. He could be saving his head as well. Because what is happening now? I told them, let them wait more. All of them will be running away from their houses and their work. This criminal. This criminal. Called Tinubu. Because he's confirmed. He's a criminal. I can't, I can't say allegedly or anything. It's confirmed. If you forge, you're a criminal. Let them wait for what this criminal will do to them. He is a master in that act. He will chase them. He will hunt them down. Let's give him more time. Let's give him more time. Uh, I've been listening over the past few days. It is what it is. Like most uh, submissions. People think it is a one-man thing. No. Like I always say, a big rain is coming. We need to get prepared. Because it will fall. But we, we're only getting ready to make sure it didn't meet us. And that is the only thing we can, we can do. That's the way we can come out of this quagmire. Like I listened, so many, you know, uh, uh, you know, talked about people in Nigeria. It's disappointing. It is. Because right now, nobody should be afraid. Already they're, they're piling in numbers. They are. So what is the point? If you see what hunger is doing in Nigeria right now, they will have no reason to even stay inside the house. They will have no reason. So if they think that allowing these people, let us even put it, put the picture. When Boo Boo was there, everybody was saying, okay, let's wait for four years. It's going to get better. Oh, after four years, he will go. He won the second one. Oh, let's enjoy it. After eight years, it will go. A new life will begin. Like the question, like the question, how much was petrol before this regime? That man asked that question. How much was dollar to Naira? before this regime yet people are getting hope if it is not good let us leave it 2027 20, i tell you everybody listening to me it's my opinion but i'm telling you if we don't get it right right now if we don't get it right right now We've seen the the magic happening. Like I, I, I mentioned earlier, if you start from Jonathan, it becomes even worse. 
I remember Jonathan's time, um, a pound sterling was 287 to a naira. Then during Buhari, I think 800 and was the last to naira. Check how much it is now. So if you don't get it right now, the same way our suffering will be increasing. Take it or you leave it. I'm just saying it as it is, the way I see it. That's why I said it is my own opinion. Because if we start seeing it in that way, if you don't realize that that dollar that goes up, that petrol that goes up, that is the same way the sufferings each and every one in Nigeria is going up. That is the clear meaning of what we are saying. You don't have any second chance. The chance is right now. There's no second chance. Because of this kind of thing I said. Because the crooks will always find ways to get in there. We all saw how this evil government came in. We've seen it. So if you continue to keep silent, if you continue to say, let's move on, it's only four years. Four years we turn to eight years, and eight years we turn to another four years of increment in suffering. Nigerians, I am begging you, let us do it once and for all. Let us do it once and for all. Because all the things we are running away from, all of them are still happening, whether we like it or not. I'm not a, I, 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 I don't have the statistics, but <laughs> my instinct tells me that if we check people who don't buy since this government, it will be in their tens of hundreds. It will be, if not thousands. So why are we scared to say enough is enough? We don't really have to come out to, to, to make noise. If we decide to do it, we know what to do. We talk to each other. What, why is the social media? What, what is the use for the social media? Why can't we do meetings there? Why can't we say, meet up, meet up? Why can't we have a, 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 a WhatsApp group, Telegram groups? We can, we can certainly say, hey, enough is enough, and it will be enough. There's no two ways about it. There's no two ways about it. So, fellow Nigerians, Please, I am begging, let us do the right thing now. And there's no any other better time than this time around. Are you there, Mr. Elvis? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chooks. God bless you, sir. Yes, it's now or never. Uh, if anything makes us to lose this opportunity, like I've always said before, <laughs> it might probably be forever. It's just, just the truth. I don't know how we can put all these kind of things together, the mindset, the people together again, prospectively. I don't know. Let me call on the next person. Thank you very much, my people. Thank you, love. God is my strength for your support again. God bless you. I appreciate every one of you right there. Please press on the like button. Press on the dollar sign, my people, um, and encourage what we are doing here today. You know, I notice most of you don't do this anymore. What was happening? You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be big or small. Just always encourage what we're doing. Press on the dollar sign. Um, join our membership program. You know, uh, it's very, very important you do these things. And also, you know, also support us on our Nigeria account. I'll put that one. Oh, that's my fault, though. I don't put that one on air all the time. So, yes encourage us you know on what we're doing here coming out every day is not very very easy 
but uh, with your encouragement, it, it pushes us uh, to do more. Thank you. Let me call on the the next person to speak to us, which is Madam Amen Bright. If you are available, this is the second time I'm calling you now. If you are there, please talk to us, man. Good evening to you. Oh, good evening, Mr. Elvis. I'm sorry I was kicked out, but I don't have to call me. So I thank you for sending me the links again. And I have to greet my fellow panelists. I greet every one of you and uh, all what you've said. I followed it uh, uh, peacefully and quiet, though I didn't follow from the beginning. I didn't see the first presentation. As I we have to say, we Nigerians, we Nigerians, we fail to realize what is really on ground. Maybe we know, but we don't talk. And we've been, we've been so quiet for long. Things that is really working behind is about this Islamization of Nigeria. No? That we, we, should, we should not forget that I have said it once before. Their purpose is just, they are working on ground. The houses are now, they, over, they are overtaking everything. They are working on the ground. We could see it now that they are, they are now reacting because Tinubu was turning to Yoruba. Matter of only Yoruba. Look at Wiki. Who was trying to fight at P with PDP, saying that he's fighting with PDP because of the Satana? It's our turn now. Now he's joined the APC. What is Wiki saying there now? Look at our brother uh, Oshomole that is dancing Akwete during the election. What are they now saying? Are they now fighting for the South? Are they not seeing what Yutunubu is doing there now? Electing only the Eurobas. When they mention Westerner, I feel affected because I'm also from West. They will think it's all West. There are many tribes in the West. Is it only Yoruba that is there? Is that what Tinubu is there for when there are major things to handle? And we do, total disgrace is given to every one of us. So we should not really think about this one in Arise TV, this Arise TV presentation. All the three uh, questions our fellow man asked him, he could not even answer one. I'm ashamed of our Nigerians. I'm really ashamed, mostly, most of them handling medias, handling all, all those our people in Arise TV, most of them, all in this media in Nigeria, they, they all kept mute. And when anybody wants to say something there, they try to twist that person with words, confuse that person, and they are just standing for these satanic leaders. They are just standing for this. Will that help us? Are they not involved? Don't they have children that these things will affect in future? Or they just see what they will eat today. Their children will come and take their position and continue there. Anyway, no why. No reason that. No why. No, I know why because they are putting their children in position. Look at the woman who is going to handle this tomorrow, George. Whose son is a lawyer and the other son is house of rape and the house of senate. What is that woman going to do? Why? I don't know. I don't know whether they see the protest of yesterday or when they were, we say we say we do the process of saying Tinubu must be disqualified. I don't know. We Nigerians, I do used to say we always come out late. Tinubu is working. Can you not ask me now why why the Supreme Court quickly give out their date for tomorrow? Tribunal, do they give us quick date? They even wait to the last minute for the woman there to come and say nonsense for almost 11 to 12, 12 hours. What do you think this woman is coming to say there tomorrow? What are we expecting tomorrow from this woman? It, there will be nothing, nothing will come out from there. Why don't we talk now? Anyway, we are talking anyway. What do we do? This, this, this is tomorrow. It is already too late. I was expecting to see that there was demonstration since two days ago about to remove this table from post. It's not what to be there. It's a total disgrace to Nigeria. And this man is buying ground, buying everything all over and we are still watching him what i don't know you are doing your best mr Davis. i always say it you are always doing your uh, your, your best all this they are, they are doing now is just it's just to 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 retain this man in post and if we retain this man what do we do i still continue to ask and i don't know to, who to ask because it's only here we talk that's why I'm, I don't, I'm not referring to, to, to Elvis because you've done your best. And all, everybody, they are listening all over the world. What do we do next? Nigerians at home. What do we do? Are we in Europe? What do we do? Because I don't know. After the judge tomorrow, do we still have any other, any other hope? What do we do? 
Everybody have cried. Haruna have cried. Uh, Raka have cried. Everybody. Dele Bobodo have tried his best. But these people, these wicked people are still there defending Tinubu for all the crimes he has done right from his bed. When even when he was in his mother's October, this man has been a criminal. And he has been able to say through all this thing to come and fight for the question. That is the last mistake he has made. I have said it. That place will be hot for him. And again, I saw that one of my sisters also said that I think uh, love of God is, is my strength. I saw when she wrote that uh, uh, in Nassau Rock, there is an Islamic something that I have not noticed it too. And we, we Africans, we Nigerians, we have just been watching them. Are they supposed to do that? They have turned our, 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 our country into, into Islam now. This is what they be fighting for. Kato Rally, uh, 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 all these things, Fulani Hesman, they have turned our country. This is what they are fighting for. With the support of the Western world, we are just waiting until they put time. And for, for God forbid. I don't know what to do. I don't really know what to say again, my brother. So let me just uh, stop here. This is just what I, I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to give up, but I will see. Let us wait for tomorrow. I am not expecting anything positive from this Supreme Court because they are all one. They are all one. I don't know whether Tinubu have used all this uh, criminal. I don't know whether we, do, we used to use Juju. You just blind everybody. Or he thought it would be as before. It is as before because we've been keeping quiet. We don't talk. We've given the most chance to spread their wings. And for the to break it now, this one person shaking 230 million Nigerians, and we are just watching. I read my case, Mr. Mr. Elvis. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, the word you use uh, by saying you don't want to give up, please <laughs> don't give up. <laughs> if everybody give up in this Nigeria matter, <laughs> I, I don't know. Because I can see a lot of people already giving up now, but my question is, you know, we're giving up to what? Because normally when you are giving up on something, you're supposed to have another option, right? So we are giving up for what? You know, there's nothing wrong you calling for a better Nigeria. There's nothing wrong with doing everything possible to have a better country. So um, I hope and I fingers crossed that we're going to have a better and a new Nigeria in our time. Yeah, hello, Mr. Evans. Yes, sir. Yeah, can I just say one thing, just for some few yeah. seconds, please. You see, when you are in opposition, whether as a politician or a political party, or even as a citizen, that is when it will be known that if you eventually come to power, you will do the right thing, you will do those things. If you are in opposition and you give up and you cannot speak, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a clear indication because opposition, your work is cut out for you. You can criticize anything. You can throw everything at the wall looking for the one that will stick. You can do it on a daily basis, on an hourly basis. So if as a, as a politician, as a political party, and we as Nigerians, we, are, we want to give up now, it's a, it's a testament that that's what they are seeing. Because an opposition is, is, is a daily thing. It's one of the easiest jobs to do. It's easy to oppose. But when you get there to govern, when it comes to governance, then you know that, yes, that is when the tough job comes in. If you cannot be an effective opposition, you cannot be an effective government. Simple. I just want to put that in for all of us, every one of us, that this is not the time. For, this is the time we're supposed to, to even come out stronger to show that if we eventually have the opportunity if the party or the principal we are supporting eventually have the opportunity to govern, they will do it well. But if we keep it up now, it simply means that we're just looking for it. There's nothing good comes easy. This is not the time to chicken out at all. In fact, this is the time to double down, triple down on our position for a better Nigeria. I just want to chip that in. Exactly. Exactly. Miss Ivis, please. Right. please. I want to ask one question. Uh, tomorrow is the case. What about, about this FBI who wanted to disclose the Tinibu's record, who promised to give, dispose the record by 27th of this month? Is that not the reason why the Supreme Court now decided to give this judgment quickly tomorrow? Or, or, or no. This FBI, have they disclosed the, all, all its record? Have they disclosed it still now? No, no. Before tomorrow? Depends. Oh, depends. what do we do now? Hey, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, if I have to, 
add to what you just said, um, um, Mr. Jonathan. I, I agree with you 100%. If you cannot be an effective uh, uh, opposition, there's no way you can be, be an effective um, government. It's not possible. It's not possible. So, and for those of us that is giving up now, like I've always said, you're giving up. Some of you don't talk about these things anymore. Some of you, if I verbally, some people have talked to me, people in Nigeria, I beg, we have given up. Some people in abroad, I beg, I want to still talk about these people, I beg, make could forget. You forget, that's what they want. In case you're not aware, this satanic group of people that have been ruling us since Nigeria was created, what they want is for you to speak like that. They want you to give up so that they can continue to recycle themselves and do what they like. And guess what? You that is giving up, whatever decision they pass or laws they pass, you must follow. You don't have no choice than to follow the laws. And you are giving up. So I don't know. I'll continue to do my part. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much, Madam Ame Bright. Uh, for the FBI, we are still waiting for that. You know, although the FBI um, um, pending uh, situation or the, 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 the documentation they're going to be releasing, I think it's about 2,500, doesn't have anything to do with Supreme Court. You know, but they have everything to do with the presidency. You know, because depend on the information that will be coming out of that 2,500. So that's when you determine, you know, if your president deserves to be president or not. So that one can still help. You know, it can still help in terms of, God forbid, a, 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 a Supreme Court turn their back on Nigerians. That one can still help if the country is, is, a, is, is a country that works. But because Nigeria is not a country that, that works or working, you know, things that are supposed to happen, normal things that are supposed to happen cannot happen in Nigeria. Normally, in a working country, in a working country, whatever FBI is going to be releasing, because obviously FBI doesn't keep uh, our people's uh, good record. They don't do that. What FBI keep for people is your bad record, your cr criminal records, right? So normally, in a country that works, if FBI release these documents, 2,500 documents, information mm. about Tinubu, normally, mm. in a country that works, Tinubu suppose, you know, outside of Supreme Court, Tinubu supposed to be impeached and removed immediately. I hope yeah. it will work for us. So yes. In a country that works. Hope. Thank you. But the problem mm. that we have, things that looks possible, is always impossible Sorry. in our country, Nigeria. So Sorry. that's the thing. Ah. So they that's come to disturb me again. So ah. let me let let let's move on. Oh thank you very God. much, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Um, I would like to call on. Uh, give us a mandate. Good evening to you, my brother. Thanks for joining us. Please talk to us if you are there. Oh, well, uh, good evening to you. Hopefully, you guys can hear me clearly. Yeah, you're good. Our protocols will observe. Uh, greetings to everyone on the panel. Greetings to Nigerians and Nigerians all over the world. Uh, greetings and greetings and greetings. Um, welcome again today. Um, we're actually out here again doing this uh, today again. And to everyone, we don't get their submission. I mean, Thank you very much for your wonderful submission uh, for all of the beta Tori Wonadinyan. Thank you so much, people. God bless you. Well, um, see, there are several things that will actually happen eventually with what is happening today in Nigeria. Whether you believe it, whether you believe it or not, Nigeria by itself, by, by itself, Either go crash from the inside, or people will crash them. I don't know if anybody pay attention. The last time when I hear about bank robbery, now when? 
And don't be surprised, say the bank robbery happened for local jail. The police themselves, when they go there away, and if not, they say most of them self, na police officer, allegedly. And these are the indices we say we see when you have the wrong person for power. Because what I'm going to tell you, we say the person we did for us or of himself, na, na thief, na drug baron, na certificate forger. Only him one have only him one get four different birth certificates. So if them go steal, who will get the power to come arrest them? So they have every right themselves to go steal. Now we see for local jail with that. And this is one of the reasons why we we'll tell people they say if na one vote, make una vote for Peter Gregory will be. Which Nigerians they 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 do them because we know it's na Peter Gregory will be now win the election. But this drug baron, this certificate forger, this thief, join and with Mahmoud Yakub, so say the country rig the election, come for Asorok. But what happened for Lokoja? The only sympathy we say they had to be uh, seven uh, people died for that robbery. This now the NBC service with the C when you have the when you have a bad person for power. Now, when we come go to the case of Gumi, Gumi, for me, I see that man as um, a kind of um, irrelevant person. Irrelevant in the case, in the sense because what in the talk not really can make sense. One, if let's talk about semi they remove a wiki for. Abuja, because we can a Christian say Abuja na for the Northerners and for Muslims. I don't know whether Gumi go school or you no go school, but from what I don't hear um, uh, maybe I don't hear about them. Um, I think maybe he gets some kind of education. Gumi, at least you know it in the core federal capital territory. Abuja belongs to nobody, but belongs to all Nigerians. So. My brother, yes, do you still not concern these kind of people? The way you they think as a normal human being now, these satanic people don't think the way you are thinking now. Well, whether I think like that or you don't think like that, we go make them we can make them think like that and then tell them say this is what in the happen. I know you won't know whether I think like that, but we just have to make them understand, say this is how Nigeria be, and this is how the reasoning pattern be. Because even our constitution said back them up. And that's the reason why today you see for court, see them put for the to the reference to Abuja, they very, very crucial and sacrosanct. Because the person who win Abuja, Napita Gregory will be, now he also win the election. All of Peter Gregory will be votes for River State. Then some of his, uh, most of his, of his vote from Lego, for Lagos State play too, then change them, come give them to Tinumbu. Now you come make a bachelor while talk say Peter Gregory will be now win the election. He win the election in the landslide. Tinubu came distant third. So that means say Tinubu he did very very distant from um, from Peter Gregory will be an article. But if you come look at it uh, for food, Fenimos Fenikuku Kayodede. If you hear the Toriwe in Komyan, well, you know, say people like this, eh? Yoruba call them Ojelni or Ojelni Ogumu, that means they eat from everywhere, anywhere they, anywhere be their face, anywhere they taste the food. Now, there then they go. So, Fenimos Fenikuku Kayodede done the Paripa Su with um, APC. And I think, like um, Mr. Ebubeze, Talk because when the cook will talk to if he join uh, APC, say make him buy. Fenny Momos, Fenny Kuku Kayodede, you don't buy already. Now, when they go put you inside ground, now people they wait for because you don't you don't buy already. Now, to come put you inside ground, nine nine with the next thing. Because when you come to the Muslim Muslim ticket, people like you. Nine day front runner. See, I uh, don't matter. It no matter now. At least we don't have a uh, Christian Christian to re 
So if you do Muslim, Muslim ticket, no problem. So you see how foolish you be. You need a reason well. But you know, say, I know if you blame me again, but you know if you reason well because now nah, or her with some uh, water we draw for for the under. Now you take all that soup for you, so your mouth and your brain will reset very well. So if Nigerians didn't pay attention to you, then just a waste your time. Because men like you, your principal, your former boss, President, uh, President Richard Gomba, Sanjot Pakam said, if you, if you want to see Fane Kayode, if you want to use them, just give them food, like bingo. Just call them, ah, bingo, 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 Fane Kuku, Fane Famous Kayode there. Come, 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 put rice for gram for them. You go lick her like dog. If you don't do that one for them, you don't catch, you don't catch them with that. So anywhere in seafood, na the end they in head. Remember, say, na like father, like son, the same thing when you pa do, na in they do. That family, they no get, they no get dignity, they no get integrity. In fact, the word integrity self, they no understand and they know what he mean. So for such a man, you know, if he, Con the kill you say say you want the con the yarn of what a story for here because this kind of man eh he, in brain eh in brain himself the step on, on top of your own brain because in brain eh not in brain just be like foul chief like like a foul brain but you know see foul so foul con guessings but this one eh in sense this one eh, no even guessing at all he just he just talk as he want to talk. He need a thing before they before he need a even reason before they talk. So no, for me, I know give him too much mileage. The guy is a, the guy eh, na na oha oha lika na imbi. So that that one na him for he home be that. Then when you come when you come look at eh, um, the Mister Ebuwe they talked earlier say. Um, the country, uh, the country, they, the country will go through chaotic experience. What do you want to say chaotic experience again? Is the country not already in a chaotic situation or even more than what they call, if, if there's any other word if you go, you go feel used for chaotic, now that one you go, you go use because this one now, I think I just saw on a different, uh, is it on a different um, handle now, that one man for Adamawa, him go by himself. Use rope time himself by himself because he no fee pay, no fee afford food, a uh, uh, cost of living for him is, 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 is too much. So the guy by himself. So, my people, whether you believe it or not, and the, the explosion of Nigeria, either explosion or implosion, now from inside, now go to happen. Now from inside, now go to happen. Only if these thieves. Understand the implication of what they do, and how dad or how tough it will be. Maybe then we change what they do, because these people don't really understand the kind of life when they live. They just live like as if tomorrow no day. Then now when you come go to the FBI matter, the FBI story, eh? um, FBI. I think there was a they, they get a, a kind of emergency meeting when they call. Between uh, um, the um, court in um, between the court in um, in Columbia District, between the FBI, the CIA, the IRS, everything about this uh, Songoleri Amoda, Tifunumbu. So hopefully they will start to release all of in documents, and then Nigeria can see how bad and how dangerous it be. To continue to pedal this guy and live on Boasura because currently, even himself, no say him bad to himself. So, Nigerians, you can, you know, if you rely on this kind of man, this man like the, he, he does not, he doesn't, he don't know what he go, he, he don't know what he go do. The man will understand what he mean to be a president. So, Nigerians, now we go arise, take our nation back from their hand. Make our rise. Make we arise. Just take our nation back for the end of these people because they don't they don't they don't too much do so many harm. Too many harm than good.
the more we continue to 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 have this person this operation for asurok the more the shege they renew every day so nigerians na na go yam mata we say make na arise make we arise take our nation back from the hand of these people they are bent on not wanting to give up so we say we go tell and say as no one give up we go bend una until we break una wrote me and make she don't give us a clue say make we look for better better shine shine um, rock if we use them on them then they will start to do the right thing so my brother and sister i could just leave my own story for a year i know see others will come behind me come help put um, some other light or some other fragrance which i don't which i don't yearn for nigerians make we no give up we make we keep that open life these guys we have to deal with them and take back our country thank you very much mr helvis now yeah i will draw my my mic for so that others will speak thank you i appreciate you thank you thank you uh give us a mandate uh god bless you my brother i appreciate you uh thank you very much everybody i appreciate every one of you press on the like button help us to share like I said before, we are not going to be staying long today. Um, if we can end this broadcast in the next one hour, that would be nice. You know, staying six hours every day is not really what I like to do. You know, um, a max that normally, normally we should be going supposed to be three hours. Three hours, maximum, minimum two hours, fine. You know, but because of this election of a thing, we started doing over six hours. Sometimes we are here for 12 hours. It's not easy. You know, uh, we are human beings. So if I can't wait for this Supreme Court of a thing, everything to be out of the way. So we can come here, you know, um, whoever is the government afterwards, you know, analyze, checkmate them. You know, maximum of three, uh, three hours we are done. But that six hours, except, except, you know, um, there's, there's a, a, a big, big topic. Then yes, we can, we can speak for long, you know, but making it compulsory that we have to do six hours, you know, because some of you might be listening to us every day. You might think that is what, maybe myself, maybe is what I like, or we like to do. No, I don't think anybody would like it. You know, uh, you, nobody pay you because you stay six hours. <laughs> you understand? So um, if I can do a um, lesser place, that would be nice. Uh, especially for now, especially even before the judgment in court, especially most especially weekends, Saturday or Sundays, we should make sure we cap it at maximum three, three hours before now. We cannot do six, six hours Monday to Monday. It is it's not easy. It's not really easy for me, to be honest. I appreciate every one of you for your understanding. I hope people are not going to twist this later on as well. You know, for me, when I speak like this, uh, my 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 good support, organic supporters understand what I'm saying. Why the haters who are pretending to be supporting us will twist everything around. You know, um, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my people. I appreciate every one of you, Anthony. All I can see right there, this one, Sagede. Thank you very much, Atlantic. I can see you. Thank you, my good people. Divine Cross in the building. I can see you, Amaka E. I can see you as well. Helen Chukura. Thank you, thank you, my people. Uh, Marco Kunsai, I can see you as well. Thank you. And I would like to quickly appreciate Peggy Modi. Peggy Modi, thank you very much for the super chat, for the support. I appreciate you always. I'm very, very grateful. I'm not taking anybody for granted. Um, everybody works so hard for, you know, to end their uh, living. So taking out of it to bless other people is not easy. So I always appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. May God bless you all. And you all that is putting your time out, you know, to come out every day to join me on the panel. Those of you that call into the show, that join that join us, share our videos, and like our videos. May God bless every one of you. You know, like I've said before, 
this fight is a collective effort. Nobody can do this alone. It's not even possible. Nobody can do it alone. You know, um, Saddam was telling me the other day, you know, saying it uh, uh, on air that um, if he has to come out alone and he doesn't have nobody supporting him, he cannot be creating the spaces that he's creating all the time. And that's just the fact, you know, is the fact, you know. So I want to appreciate all my panelists, all my brothers and sisters that are joining me on this panel, that's giving out their golden voices every day on this platform. You know, I want to assure you that your voices are going far. You know, don't just think that you're talking and we the, on the panel, we are the one listening to you. No, and don't also think that the numbers that is watching us, maybe we have 1,000 watching us, 600, 800 watching us, those are the people that is listening to you. No, I want you to understand that if you want to know how many people that will hear your voice, go back to that video later on uh, after like 24 hours and check the total view of that particular video. So if it was 6,000, you know 6,000 people hear your voice. If not 10,000, you know say 10,000 people hear your voice and it's a continuous thing. So continue to stand for what is right, speak the truth, speak the truth. We all have one life to live. You know, nobody's gonna live forever. If, if you know the truth, please say it. Always say the truth. Don't, 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 don't manipulate it just because you wanna make somebody happy. You know, you, you can still make people happy by telling them the truth. Even though they are angry, somehow, someday they will realize you know, I don't know how God normally do that though. No matter what, if you tell people the truth, even though they disagree with you at instant time, prospectively, they will realize, you know, uh, that, oh, this person tell me this at that time. Although because of egos, egos that follows all of us as a human being, uh, some of us still normally come back to say, ah, pros, sister, what did you tell me that time? Now, true, I just want to say sorry, say I argue with you because it came to pass. But many of us, majority of us have egos, you know, all of us, I include myself. So what happens, even though when it comes to reality, we don't go back again. We just take it like that. Oh, my God. Ah, not true. Now give us a mad day, tell me that time. Oh, ah. But we don't go back to give us a mad day again to let him know that, to give him that credit. So for me, I believe truth is always the best. Always, because no matter how you try to cover it, it still manages to bring itself out, you know, to, to let you know that I am the truth. Yes. Even though as a human being, none of us is perfect, you know, but just do your best and stand for what is right. So whenever you end up doing what is wrong, if it's not deliberate, you don't need to hit yourself so hard. But when it's deliberate, you know this thing is wrong and you are deliberately doing it. And, and after you've done it, you are smiling. That is the wrong one. That is the bitter one. That is the bad one. Because you know it is wrong. And you are still doing it. Just like some people coming on air now to defend Tinobu. The person, before he gets trials and iron his shirt, he already know that he's going to channel to lie to Nigerians. That is the bad one. I've never one day prepared to come on air, to come and lie to people. I've never one day. And I will never do it by God's grace. What for? I will come here. I will put the title there. We will discuss it. The title you are seeing right now, we have two titles today. It's right there. Nigeria is going down the drain. Clerics, and I read that for you, where they come from. Fanny Kayode attack uh, Gumi. I play the audio. That is what we are doing here. I cannot get dressed and spray perfume, the other and eat better than the DM. I will all come here and say, man, I go lie. This is what these guys are doing in channels and, and, and the rise. They'll come there and uh, deceive Nigerians claim and pretend that they are better than everyone. They are more clever, educated than everyone. They just talk and talk and argue rubbish. Then the anchor will tell them, our time is over. They'll say, okay, bye, bye, everybody go home. Then he collect his check and say, okay, I've done well today. Ah, Abba. Oh, wow. 
sometimes it they take time before our God they react. Uh, to be honest, because you get some people where God just suppose they strike straight away, straight away. You just strike and boza. Or as you they do and so for that national TV, you just slap here. One of you go your block forever. You know, but our God is a merciful God, and uh, it takes it takes time to expose and disgrace people. You know, because especially the situation we are facing in Nigeria now. Normally, anybody that is defending this situation that we are not supposed to be forgiven. Yes, God supposed to just get one way to strike them. Because what is happening in Nigeria right now, you don't need to be told. Everybody can see it. Then when you don't see people who are defending these people, then it's baffling. Anyway, thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. Madam Joy, I can see right there. Uh, Madam Origin, thank you very much. God bless you all. Don Fay, I can see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my wonderful people. Now, God, now God bless you now. I'd like to come back to uh, Mr. Jonathan Kinsley. Mr. Jonathan Kinsley, we're going to have a final submission now, but we don't have a time limit. Uh, let us just stay. We still have five of us with us here. So let's take um, a final submission now so we can round up the show. We're already in about three hours already. So, yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, Mr. Jonathan Kisley, you are not there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm there, me... Mr. Evans. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Please give us final submission. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Thanks very much, Mr. Elvis. Thanks to all the all the submission of the day. Um, I just want to conclude by saying this, you know, just to kind of remind all of us that you know, you know the reason why in the Western world. The reason why politicians they quickly resign whenever there is any slightest allegation against them, they could they don't waste time, they resign. You know, the reason why they do that in the Western world, having lived in this terrain for at least for more than two decades, I can say is simply because whatever they do as politicians as public servants that they do wrong that thing will be used against them going forward so they are no longer tenable it's like saying you know when police arrest somebody normally they will say whatever you you have the right to keep quiet whatever you say or do now will be used against you in the court of law politicians in the west understood that fact to the core because once you do anything wrong as a politician as a political leader, as a public servant, it will be used against you going forward. So you cannot be credible again. You cannot be, then your, your position cannot be tenable again. So you got to go. It doesn't matter whether you are the president, you are the senator, you are a, a parliamentarian. It does not matter. You, got, you just have to step aside. And that is the problem we have in Nigeria. For every politician, whether serving in this government, whether elected or appointed, or you are an elite one way or the other, you are a public figure in the executive branch, in the legislative branch, in the uh, judiciary branch, and you are still with this government, you have compromised yourself already. So going forward, you are no longer tenable because everything you are doing now that you have done, will be used against you in the future. So even if you have the good intention, if Obi come, when, when Obi comes to power, when Obi comes in, you, will be, you are no longer useful for him any longer. You cannot be useful because everything you are doing now, they will use it against you to the detriment of Mr. Peter Obi's government. That is the reason why you must stood your ground now. You must stand firm. Because every one of you appointed or elected, those that are in the legislature that are, that are saying nothing now, you, are, you, are, you, are, you have sold your integrity. You have sold everything you stand for now for a pot of porridge. When Obi comes in, when a credible government comes in, 
you are you can't see anything again they will use it against you those in the opposition they will use it against you if you all are listening to me now and you still have the opportunity to make a reversal please do because you are no longer useful again you have become useless they will use it against you either in the, at the executive branch at the legislature or judiciary they will use it against you everything you have collected you have collected already so you are no longer tenable that is why whatever all these people comes out to say now you even the even the likes of Femi Falano I can take him he's no longer credible he can come out and say positive things on any issue that may come out or arise tomorrow or in the future it's no longer hundred percent tenable so whatever you do now, that is just my advice for them. This is the time to come out. Politicians elected or appointed, do the right thing. Speak out. It is clear, it is obvious what is going on in Nigeria now. And if you say no, you just want to stay with this criminality, then you are no longer tenable. Whatever happens to you in the future, whether political appointment or anything, you cannot serve right anymore. You can't do good anymore, no matter the intention that you have. That is why all the politicians we see, even those of, those of them that we can still manage them and say, okay, this person is still good. He cannot deliver 100% anymore, not even 20%, because those things he has done in the past, they are using it against him. Whether we, we, we may not see it, even when he wants to come and say, are you not the one that we didn't you collect? Uh, almost 200 million for for, for chief. Now you are preaching to us. What audacity! Did you collect this? Did you collect that? Are you not in this committee? Are you not? In? We know we know your works. We know what you've done in the past. So you can't do. You are no longer. That, that is that is the, that is the problem we are having. And this is the opportunity for me. 2023 for me personally. 2023 has changed my political as far as Nigerian politics is concerned. And I must say it out for every politician, especially those in the Labour Party, I'm documenting them. I'm documenting all elected. I, at least right now, I have more than 300 pages. I can share it to those that, that, that are like-minded. On each and every one of those elected representatives, everything you do now will speak for you. I will be the one that will stand all over the place. I will give your dossier to your opposition, to your opposition candidate against you because you are not telling I will do it on next election. If you don't change, I will do it. I will call them and I will give them your dossier, everything, because maybe they have forgotten. They will use it against you. This is the time for you to do the right thing because that is the only way Nigerians can move forward. Every policy, you didn't speak out, you didn't say anything, you kept quiet. And you said you are in opposition. Talk is cheap. Jinungu said, people said Jinungu is a magician. He can turn, he can turn, he can, he can turn black to white. He can turn, he can turn, he can turn metal to gold. Now he's governing. Now he's dear. Talk is cheap. Now govern and let us see. Because it was the same thing. He, can, he didn't speak to bad governance. Are you expecting to come and do good now? Of course not. He can't. Even those that if right now they are, the, the cabals are using everything against him. Everything they have against him in the past you are using it against him now and he can he can't do nothing they have materials on him that can make him to resign tomorrow so what so we are expecting we're expecting nigeria to turn around it can happen it cannot happen we're going to start now all those of you who have the opportunity who are still clean you can still remedy it. It is still not too late. Start speaking out on a daily basis on everything that this government stood for that is contrary to the development of Nigeria and Nigeria. Start speaking out. Start challenging them. It is easier to work. It is much easier to work. You want to speak again. Say it out. Speak it out with facts and figures. So that when eventually you now come there, you can stand your, you can stand your ground. Not that you have eaten with them now. You now want to turn to saints later. It can't be. It cannot be. It can't be possible. You are tempted already. You have you have sat down and you have ate with the devil. 
and the devil will use it against you. Your political career is no longer tenable. That is why politicians that have integrity, they resign. They know that they can, there's nothing again. Things are falling apart. Once anything comes out against you, the center cannot hold. You can't do anything against it again. Before you say anything, they will bring it out. So that is my, you know, I want to I want to leave it at that. And I hope that politicians in Nigeria, one way or the other, they know this or they will get to know this and they will do the right thing so that Nigerians can, Nigeria as a nation can move forward. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis, and thanks to everyone uh, today. Have a wonderful evening. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Jonathan. Ah, your submission is strong. Um, yes, I just hope that power continue like that. You know, let everybody individually uh, continue to do their part publicly or privately. Just do your part for Nigeria to work. Yes, you know, um, we can't leave Nigeria the way it is. It's not favorable to anybody. You know, this December now, guess what? The percentage of Nigerians in diaspora that is going back home is very, very slim. It's low. It's very, very low. You know, because look what is happening now. Bank robberies are now um, happening in different states now in Nigeria. Uh, kidnapping, you know, on the high side now. Uh, many things are happening right now. So you visiting Nigeria this December, except, like I said before, except is extremely compulsory. Yes, if it's not compulsory, you're only just going to go eat rice and stew with your family members back home. And brothers and sisters, you are hearing me right now. I'm not dictating for you, but I'm just saying, because I love you. I want us to continue to hear our voices here. Our advice, don't bother. You know, except it's very, very uh, you know, essential that you must be there. If not, don't bother. This December is a big, big target, especially for those people coming from diaspora. I'm telling you, you going home this December, you know what that means? It means that, you know, um, at this moment, a lot of people are hungry. Crime rates have increased. So obviously you're gonna be, God forbid, you're gonna be easily singled out amongst, you know, in the presence of others. So, I'm just saying though, I don't want people, I don't want to expatiate more on that. I don't want people to think that, oh, talk your own way to concern you. Like, because a lot of people, I remember when me and Madarita, we said, we mentioned here uh, during the time of campaign that we shouldn't be sending money to anybody back home, except, except they have collected their PVC ready to go vote. You know, somebody came here to attack Madarita and I saying, oh, you people tell you people you not to send money back home, blah, 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 blah. So that's why. Saying all these kind of things, one needs to be careful because some people get it twisted. Yes, but it's up to you. If you want to visit Nigeria this December, that's fine. But if you ask me, if it's not very important, don't bother going because Nigeria is a normal land right now. All the security uh, men are on their own. All of them, everybody are looking for one way or the other to protect their head. Not even yours now. So anywhere um crime is happening right now in nigeria if you even call the police they don't come on time they want the people you know to leave first you know when they don't go to come, come because nobody wants to lose their lives you know nobody wants to die so please that's a little that i have to give out all right uh i'll come back to um madam amen bright please thank you very much madam yes sir Sorry, I, I put something in the uh, private chat for you. Maybe you can look at them. Okay, okay, sure. Uh, maybe before Madam and Bright finish, I'll go through it. Go ahead, Madam. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Evis. Uh, uh, as for now, really, I don't really have much to say. What I will say tomorrow, judgment after tomorrow, judgment, Nigerians, I'm talking to Nigerians now, open your ears, open your eyes and decide on what to do. Take your future in your hand. We People in Europe, like my brother Elvis, is trying his best to contact the whole world about Nigeria. The few of you, 
that is hearing his voice and hearing the voice of all all all, all over all nigeria all over the world even other Austrian african that is sharing our voice the only the little one that is sharing our voice please spread it to other others the other that is not aware of it please stand up for your right and fight for your future for the future of your children and all whatever will come and i hope my brother Elvis and uh, my brother constant have given me the hope maybe whether you are you 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 nigerians you understand what is going on or it's not going on you are hearing us now after this judgment don't don't let us fall into their hand again and accept all those nonsense they've been doing for the past 60 years we should accept it we should stand for our right should in case it comes out now we have to wait for tomorrow and we advise you nigerians please stand up for your right don't allow these people to to fight use western world to be looting our resources turning our our own country to muslim a country we should not accept that if the not turn us we don't accept us to be one we want to be one nigeria we want peace nigeria don't want problem so the way you are going with it that the the the, the answers the not turn us we will not accept this we respect your religion also respect our own christian respect religion uh is uh, 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 muslim muslim we also respect christian you don't we don't you don't force anybody to everybody is free to join any office any religion you want don't force us we are not asking you respect us and we respect you if you want us to be one we should handle everybody no one is greater than the other one no one is more nigeria than the other one we are all equal please the answers all this those this these tricks you'll be playing for years you have to stop it we are not going to be muslim keep your religion we keep our own and we respect, respect ourselves that is all, Mr. Wavis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam uh, Bright. God bless you, ma. I appreciate you always. Okay, uh, this one is just coming in now. I think I should take it before I move on to the next person. Um, let's take this together, people. Press on the like button, apples to share. Um, this one is, um, is pathetic to know that um, the former INEC officials, uh, Jega, you know, is accusing INEC uh, of ringing 2023 uh, general election. Oh, wonderful. This is good. At least they are not beginning to speak out. This is wonderful. Meanwhile, let me put this on screen quickly. Then we can uh, take it from here. One moment, my people, bear with me. Um, I'd like to take it before we round up. It's very, very important. Let me put this here and let's take it together. Not to really know the see from these people. <laughs> voila. I say it be like waiting again. Voila be like waiting again. How did they talk on that time? Okay. Wow. Let me take this one, my people. Bear with me. I see these people never attack me now. But they are, they are wild at too much. Okay, good. We are good. Bear with me. Bear with me. Let me put it on screen. I'm trying to do it. Okay. You guys can see though. But let me read from here. Let me just read from here. Um... One moment. Thank you, um, uh, Black Panther, for coming in. One moment, my brother. I'll come to you shortly. Let me quickly take this here. Then we move it from here. Um, I'm just trying to see how I can put it big. If not, okay, let me just read it. As long as I can see it, that is fine. Because I'm not sure. Now, let's, now let's see him and uh, give us our money. They see all this guy, tiny, 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 tiny uh, thing. But... I can use my microscope to look on from here. All right, as you all can see right there, INEC official ringed 2023 election, Jega, the former chairman of the Independent National, National Electoral Commission, INEC, Atahiru Jega, has accused some of its official of compromising the outcome of the latest general election. The accusations were made during a two-day retreat organized for senators in Aquaibo. In his lecture, Mr. Jagar spoke on the topic 
unquote, electoral reform and democratic consolidation in Nigeria review of 2022 electoral acts, areas for further legis legislative actions. Mr. Jagas stated that these officials were appointed into their positions based on the political bargains and were subsequently influenced to compromise the integrity of the elections. He suggested that in order to prevent such a situation from occurring again, there must be rigorous screening of the officials before they are appointed in order to ensure they are capable of executing their duties without any bias or prejudice. This is not the first time that the conduct of INEC officials has been called into question. During the 2015 elections, there were reports of vote ringing as well as reports of manipulation of electoral materials. These reports were investigated by the International Re Republican Institute who concluded that the irregularities could have affected the outcome of the elections. In addition to the accusations made by Mr. Jagger, there have also been reports of discrepancies in the voter register, as well as allegations of electoral malpractices. This has led to calls for an overhaul of the electoral process in order to ensure that the integrity of the elections is maintained. This article I read for now. So the only thing we may pick for there, I don't know what you pick from there. Now we say before the election, these people planted people inside uh INEC. We want to work for them throughout the election. These people were there for a reason. They were there to manipulate the whole results. You see, so now you got the review. So so anyway it's good to bring this here let it be part of this to this broadcast tomorrow we're going to be especially more on it but i also have another uh information here that i would like us to take this one is coming from um sahara reporter sahara reporter is saying um one minute let me get this prepared for you because there's a lot of distractions here that I don't want to put on the screen. Okay, this one is coming from Sarah Reporter. Quickly, quickly, let me put this here. Uh, what is it? Guys, please press on the like button. If you know so you never press them, use the press them, my babe. Thank you. Okay, um, according to Sarah Reporter, this is what they are currently showing right now. You know, as you can see, musician Wasiu Ayinde, MC Oluomo, have provided talks to travel around and look for me. Nigerian journalist David Oden cries out. Wow. Hmm. There's another twist, though. Another twist. Although I saw this this afternoon, uh, but from a different background. That's why I didn't bring it here. But seeing it again now that it's coming directly from Sarah Reporter. Sarah Reporter is a mainstream media. So um, people were sharing it on tweets this afternoon. So I was a bit skeptical because this, this kind of accusation, one needs to be very careful. But since it's coming from Sarah Reporter, that means, you know, the fact is currently going. Houdain on Saturday stated this on his X platform, formerly Twitter, adding that getting rid of him would not stop the ongoing saga around Nigerian president. Bola Tenbo, no news platform, West African week from functioning. The Ghana-based Nigerian investigative journalist David Uden has stated that Fuji musician Wasiu Ayinde, more commonly called Kwam, I and a road transport worker chieftain Musilio Akinsaya, MC Olomo have been provided talks to travel around the world looking for me. Uden on Saturday stated this on his ex uh, platform. Okay, I'm not saying for a platform, I forgot to talk about it. Other people were sharing it. I didn't know it was actually coming from him. It, it was there. It was there yesterday. 
I am mean, I know I maybe I skip my mind. Or oh, I, I don't know, I think me some. There's too much details what they see for you. Too much. Wow. This is scary though. You know? On day on Saturday stated this on his Twitter space, formerly as Twitter, blah blah blah, and all that he said as why are they repeating themselves again? Okay, all right. I'll just stop it right there because it looks like there. But there's a lot of information here. Okay, let me let me take it further. But he said, as for at Kale, to your teammates and MC Oluomo, who have apparently been tasked with providing talks and cover for the talks to travel around the world looking for me. There are two things you should know. One, getting rid of me won't stop the release of drug lord FBI file. Neither will it stop West Africa week from functioning. These things might have started with me, but they are now fully independent of me. You would merely be cutting off one head on a hydra and two will replace it. Hmm. Oh, wow. This is what you get in Nigeria when you speak. Oh. Hmm. Two, the question is not whether you are looking for me. The real question is, I, I am looking for you. Because if a single hair on my head is touched, there is 97% chance you will not live to see the end of the calendar week. I hear that the Hitler of Obiakbo pays very well, but are you going to live long enough to spend that money? Who in the talk to for there? My talking say the Hitler of Obiakbo. Is that I don't know? Is that is that the person I'm thinking? Because now we're a wiki now. Eh, wiki. We're a wiki. Voila. We're talking to wiki. Miss Elvis, Miss Elvis, see, Miss Elvis, with this, with the issue of this our country, eh, honestly, I just thank God for the boldness of David Ndeye, eh, and with this, with what he's saying here, eh, honestly, there's no nothing to be scared about again, nothing. What are they not? What are they not? It's yet, it's yet we were brought down, we were brought down during the election. In 19 years, we were pied himself. Today, someone just pied himself in Adamawa State because of hunger. This um, foolish Kwan Wan, Shebi himself, they come to America. They come get money from these drug barons and then um, uh, uh, credit card, uh, credit card um, uh, frosters. They're not born and away again to enter America. They are looking for him. His son is in jail. His son is in jail. Can I can I just brief on and from one a little bit? They, 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 they install him as a chief in Ogun State. These hmm. are devil, oh, wow. devil human beings, and devil incarnates. Nothing to be scared about again, my brother. What have they not done? Come on, these are devil incarnates. But me, I'm surprised. Oh, this man's supposed to be a musician now. He's... No, it's not that. Not that he's supposed to be a musician. He's a, he's a leading Fuji musician. Before this guy became Tunumbu surrogate, he was singing against Tunumbu in 1999. He was one of those that sang against Tunumbu. And all of a sudden, money changed, and this guy was now singing. Tunumbu is a good thing. She be the echo, they, they, they said Tunumbu turned to new. The echo now, everywhere is spot all. Nothing mm -hmm. is working in the States. These are demonic agents, wicked human beings. Give us our mandate. Black Panther is good sorry to interject you. Thank you, my brother. You see, to us. Thank you, Mr. Najawa. It's all protocol of that. You see, people are talking about Kwam One. Kwam One stole ballot box and pushed it into his house. Exactly. And locked sir. it up. And they now manipulated it and now gave Agbado the score in his own um, um, LG, in his own zone. Shebi was one that was, was plugging somebody. He was plugging one Igbo man. Yes, he was about to. He, he beat he beat up some Igbo people and then uh, dealt with them seriously. And one was even injured because of Kwan Wan. So he has a record. You see, everybody has a date of reckoning. 
and the date of reckoning for them has come you see the issue of um of what what is happening right now about fbi doing things i want to state here that we should not even hurry up the fbi because they are going to do their job and nobody can push them not to do their job the way it is you can go to an extent and having a lawsuit against the fbi but the fbi is a federal parastatus and they have their duty to make sure that drug peddlers and other criminals that have bad record they are open and if they want to open it up they require the the order of the president of america to open and the president of america has given them the go ahead to do what is needful in all this so we shouldn't really push say much about the FBI. it is it is concluded so nobody should just let, let them be going to court they can't win it because that is who fbi is fbi is not somebody you can just go to court before fbi does any investigation or before they bring out any information they also go to court to get the court backing before they release anything into the public and after the court they have to seek for the signatory of the president before they go ahead because they are they are strictly under the gog and the president has a place to sign before they can release it so that is what is going on so Agbado is saying carrying FBI to court to do what? What's this going to say? To tell them that the information that they want to release is due. FBI don't give a damn about it. You are a drug peddler. And I said one thing here that America does not give a damn about drug peddler. They pursue them to the latter. And that is all. So we should not even bother ourselves. Let us just keep our fingers crossed and let us continue the, the struggle. We are good. We are on the right path. And when, whenever you're on the right path, you are going to achieve the aim and objective of that purpose and we are going to definitely achieve it it might look rough it might look as if there's no road it might look as if they are after us but we are going to get it so what i want to say here is that we should be steadfast and uh, not be wary concerning the islamic whatever uh, gumi before you go ahead black panther let me just quickly yeah. interject you uh I don't know why you are you, you are able to jump the window and enter me. My mind was going to you earlier. But, that's right. <laughs> but uh, see, this same Kwam one is it Kwam one they call his name or uh wasu yekini or was you sheri sheri or was you jakara jakara. Was you sheri this guy should be an is an allergy. This these two people, MC Oluama and this foolish idiot, they went to make out. Is this what they are being taught to to pie their fellow human being? These are demons, 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 and people are listening. They are listening to their song. They will dance their Abed, song. Give us a mandate. You should use a uh, uh, Yoruba to talk to them. You know, because I believe that we hear that one more. I mean, if you, I mean, so Bubu any Omo Yoruba te mbwa ni loko la America ni Canada ni Chicago. Particularly, ain't the one Chicago. Momo, we pay ni Chicago by Omo was you and the Owa, the Owa, Long Bemo was you and the Gofrare Kuli, America. Because Ongoni own only own legislative down, well, I'm FBI. Was you and the near Oluma was America, what calling for and what you for brought him for bo and what you want she credit and what you want to one Jew and Ulu Tom Fike. Or got a man who want to be a man who want to fight. A man who want to see a man calling for America. Or call up on the one who are one by the answer on one by the answer on one near one. Was you are the one be like America. So to the point David, in the instance, all team all on she share lorry link. Be care when be a king one release the book. A man who wait one lorry to number. Was you are the at TMC or Luomo. One round when you call him a what David. That's a pa. He buried me seeing in the pen, you and you more Yoruba, ten bombing a shall lay. He ruined by you, see, no, 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 no,
wa si wa yinde ye fun rare ye. O woto ba lo wun nile ni ye, o wu a wun a mubo, o wu a wun ti wun fake ni. Tori ko sento ma shi yegi dal amerika, ta wani kon fè no wot, o woto lo pa, o fè no fo lo ni. O mwa lo mwa ton shi shi la di me shu, la di rikpe a ni lo to dani nè njiri ya, le ni ye, ni wa si wa yinde, a ti em si o lo omo, no no yon kon lo ma waka ke la di pa, Se gwen e gbo, on ko gwen bo do se David. On ko gwen bo do se David. A ti e nyi, a ti i dile e nyi, e nyi duro wo. E nyi i ka, e nyi e nyi a pani nyo, e nyi e nyo buburu. I le e nyi ono nyo ni toro. Mi se kwe founyo wa, o wa nou kura ni ten ka, o wa nou kura ni ten ka. I le e nyi ono nyo ni toro. O mo nyi, Ya wo nyi, e bi nyi, bo bo nyi. Be e shepe ki den jiri a da, a ye nyi o ni da. O wa anu korani nyi, o wa anu bibe li. En ti o ba di fe ki Jerusalem ko ni fo kambale. E bi e ni be e wani ni fo kambale. So e bi wa suya indi at e bi at EMC, e bi MC o lu omo, e bi ti nou mbu, e bi remi. Bo bo yi ten shebi si nen jiri a e bi kani, gani fa yo, e bi fani kayo di. E bi yon o ba yon o nuga. E bi be jabi a me la, bo bo yi yonan yi. Yonan yi oni shi onere. Mi yi shekwe founyi e lo ka wano korani, o si wano bibe li. E nye e nye a pani nye, e nye ni bi, e nye e ka. Se ti kpa ti kpa ni. A ti e nye a ti a omo nye a ti dile nye. Bo gonti e en she founye en jire le ni. I bi nye a ba nye a ba e dile nye. Thank you very much for saying this. God bless you, my brother. You speak and well well to them. Yes. And then uh, I, I want to leave one side of uh, the Gumi axis. I'm going to give a brief, a good, a broad analysis of Gumi, his father, and where they are getting their funds from. And I'm going to link what is happening in the Middle East is going to affect Nigeria. I'm going to take analytically, I'm going to explain everything. And uh, as I explain it, I'm going to challenge the, those of us that are East uh, Muslims. I'm going to challenge them and as, as I'm explaining it. And I'm going to challenge Nigerian scholars as I'm going to explain it. And let them defy my fact that I'm saying. Because this is what I've been doing. I've been following it. Following that this war started. I've been following it. I've been reading a lot of books. And I've been connecting data as I am taught when I went for leadership training and some other things that I learned from my folks. So one thing about this issue is that Nigeria is just a milking pot for many of them. They don't know what to do. They are all under pressure. The North is under pressure now because the camel's back is about to be broken and they don't know how to go about it. The only way they know how to go about it is just using religious tactics, which it's not going to be an active thing anymore because the dimension of the world now is going to change. By next year, the dimension is going to change. Exactly going to change. All this rigorous fighting by the Islamic world and Muslim fighting in Nigeria to dictate all this crap is not going to work anymore. This thing is going to be stopped and it's finally going to be stopped. And concerning the Supreme Court, I just am scared for them. Like I, my premises that I've been, my note that I've been giving down, I'm scared of them and I'm scared for them. If they want to take the power to judge the federation to the hands of the people, to now the people now to make judgment on people, let them go the other way of uh, go and assist Agbado, then the power of judiciary will be given to the, the will be hand over to the Nigerians and Nigeria will start making judgment. And that's what we call jungle justice that one will start that so we should not be moved let us be focused not be moved by any judgment that comes let us be focused no, uh, yeah sorry to interject i think um with what gumi is trying to play now peter will be the only christian among them he is the one that won the election if nigeria is a perfect place supreme court ruling like we all 
anticipate and believe. Peter Obi is the president. So Gumi is trying to spin a narrative because he knows that Supreme Court will declare Peter Obi as a winner. Abuja is there. Forgery is there. For feature is there. Double nomination is there. Peter Obi won the election. Baba Chua said it. Baba Chalawa said it. Jega is now backing up. We saw another man on Channel TV. What Gumi is trying to do is to spin a false narrative that must be poo pooed, according to the word of Mr. Alice, should be poo pooed and be thrown to the desert. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Are you so, there? Um... Thank you. Thank you for that spin. Okay. Thank you for that information. I want to state clearly that what um what's his name what um what uh, this man did ffk we should not look at ffk as a person we should look at the word which ffk delivered that is what we should look at because the word which a man delivered it might be more stronger than the person itself so we should look at the 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 word not the personality ffk don't know what he's doing but FFK has broken one record that I believe we should take notes of. There is a time where the, the, the Islamic people were saying very things. Look at the message and not the messenger. And not the messenger. There, there is a time where the Islamic people have been doing things and nobody can challenge them even in the press. So FFK has done a lot and he has come out, which, is, which I know is very good. And I'm so happy that he did that. So we should be grateful to that 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 kind of word came out of ffk and i thank him a lot for making that whether he did it out of ignorance or he did it out of anger i don't want to know but what i know is that the message has gone and that message is tactical and is a plus to what we are doing because what is happening now the north is just quiet so i don't believe in that something must be spoken from there and they must tell us the reason why they're not talking. So why why he say what he's saying, we should be grateful to God that a lot of informations are coming out. And now we see that the former, was it the former chairman of INEC has also come out to say the election was rigged by some people. So information will be coming out. I don't know, maybe they want to protest the point of what um, they did or they want to remove Agbado. I don't care, but anything that happened, it will all work together for There's our no group. There's no way. Agbado must be removed. What are you saying, my brother? He must be removed. Must so, be yeah, I don't care what they jail. do. All I know, I am focused. And wherever, wherever they go, it's going to work for our advantage because we have, we have two ways. If they don't give us, let everybody start to plan ahead to have our own, to, to start thinking. And not thinking of the Nigeria, but thinking about how you are going to survive and how you are going to create your how you're going to do your own federation if that comes to to be so that is how i look at it in the long run we are not losing but we are passionate that we don't want something to happen but when there's a change in the demography and there's a change in the dynamics of the politics of any nation there must be an impact and that impact is the we don't know the dimension which is going to yeah, Black, Black Pata, I, I think Madam Rita wants to respond to you. Good evening to you, Madam. Okay, in. go ahead. Yes, good evening, Mr. Elvis. Um, you know, thank thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Um, uh, Mr. Give us our mandate. God bless you. You're a real Omo, is it Omolua B? I, I, I hope I, I said it right. <laughs> Omolua B, a real son of the soil, a true Yoruba man that stands for integrity for the truth. Um, to my brother Victor, um, what you were saying that we should be grateful to um, FFK. Um, I would disagree with you on that because, and these are my reasons. Um, Mr. Jonathan was highlighting something earlier on and saying that. Sorry, sorry, not grateful to him. Sorry, not grateful to him, but grateful at his ignorance in bringing out those words that he spoke. There's nothing to be grateful for here. And I, let me just put out my point. Um, like something Mr. Jonathan was speaking earlier on and saying, every person who has a little bit of integrity left in him, they should start speaking up now because any time that they come out, anything that they, say, that they say in the future, you know, 
it would never they will never ever be taken serious and, and their, their actions now will determine how people will treat them in the future something of that line now coming back to your comment about ffk coming out and trying to reply mr gumi these are the reasons okay let me give you a typical example somebody like babacha lawa he came out and he said peter will be won the election and i know one of the programs i think a few days ago i said i would accept him because prior to the election or during the campaign of 2023 presidential election this man came on national several national tv and he said this is the reason why we need a change in nigeria he's from adamawa state is a christian and he spoke about the oligarchy and the hegemony of the north he spoke about it now him for him to say that at that time in the midst of wolves and somebody who is also part of apt the so-called ruling party came out on national tv to say that and then the man kept quiet and watched. He came out last week now, and he said what he said, emphatically, period, without any apologies. And to date, nobody, and I know all these media houses, they are all afraid to call Babachella because they know if he comes on TV, he will say things that they don't want, that they don't want to hear. But they will only say, according to his spokesman, this is what he said, because Babachella, he throws it off like a bee. He doesn't really care. Now, coming back to FFK, talking now, I mean, we have the likes of Dele Mamadou talking. He's speaking, even if he's under um, um, PDP, he's speaking and talking about the issue of why we're even going to the Supreme Court now. FFK has abused the people from the Southeast. He has made them little, even if the woman that gave him son is from the East, a beautiful woman. He abused us. He abused Peter, uh, Peter Obi. He abused the, the obedience. A man that has been his neck has been on our, on our throat. He's supporting the people that are putting their, 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 their hands on our throat. And then he's not coming out to now say, he's replying, Gumi, please, FFK, reply the fourth certificate before Gumi. You only have power for Gumi because you know you can say that behind your screen or just behind your, your keyboard. You can type and say nonsense. Now you are, you're having power for, Gu, for Gumi now. But the reason why this the likes of Gumi should be in jail. You are not coming out to speak. So there's nothing to be grateful. There are many more Nigerians who have made comments about what Gumi said. It's just because FFK is somebody who was in the government and then maybe he's known. And that's how we are listening to him or making it seem as if, okay, his name has to be on, under a headline. Because take it or leave it, he's somebody who is known because he has been part of the government. But there are a lot of people who have responded to Gumi. So, so please, it's not, it's not like it's a new team responding. There are many people who have responded online as well. So, so please, FFK right now is not somebody I want to even hear his opinion unless, unless he starts speaking about this first certificate because he deliberately sidelined it. And if he was part of this, at uh, this wicked and malevolent administration, FFK would have been silent on what Gumi said. He would have been silent. So let us not just take this breakfast just because we are hungry. No way. Hell no. Hell no. He's not doing us any favor. He's doing himself a favor. They haven't given him position. He's not part of the government. So now he has power for Gumi. FFK has power for the fake certificate. Has power for Chicago State University. Has power. That's, that's when what of here you talk. That's when I know that you care about Nigeria. He cares about nothing but himself. FFK does not care about Nigeria but himself. His former boss, OBJ, said if you give him a duck, if you just if you just give him a little bone, he will sing like a canary. So he's singing for himself now. Please, I beg, I beg. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Madam Rita. Thank you. Mr. Elvis. Uh, yes, sir. Can I can I can I say something? Let me continue. Abraham, no, before you continue, you, you, sir. Service, I beg. Look for her now. Pour, pour or her soup on the ground. Then we can't call FK. We can't lick him, I beg. <laughs> Please look for that video, I beg. Maybe look for her. Pour All right. Her but thank you, sir. Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. Uh, go ahead, uh, Black Panther. Mr. Evis, we all have a way of fighting a true just cause. There is a pattern that comes in, and you must disguise your pattern the way you want to go. And if we have to say because of FFP is doing something, and we should not say what he has done is good. A lot of people are speaking. Yes, a lot of people are speaking, but are they, do, they have, do they have weight? They don't have weight. So we want those that have weight in the political scene that can speak and let everybody hear what they are speaking. Everybody will listen to FFK because even the, even the global people, the global media, they will love to listen 
the word is said because this is now between the christian and the muslim and you need a voice ffa is a voice despite his political uh, affiliation it's still a voice he might have done he had done a lot of things i don't appraise him i don't give him any accolade but he's a voice in nigeria because he has been in it and he's one of the people that got nigeria into this mess but if he comes out if he comes out to say something about religion itself that is bringing about problem in nigeria one person said it then i said what he spoke about is good i'm not talking about him i'm not praising him as a person but i am looking at the word which he has spoken and with that kind of a voice that can speak so that nations we hear so that people will listen to because if you lock the international media they will not listen to ordinary voice they will listen to a voice that is strong that they can really put forward to make it sell to their own people that listen to them that is what we are talking about that is why you said we need leadership that is why we are calling for leadership in the obedient movement that is why we are talking about this so when we see that we should just castigate the message it is the message himself i'm not looking at the person i'm looking at the message so the message is spoken well because many nigerians have not been able to speak in that in that way many leadership in nigeria are not able to speak in that way because they are afraid of the the the, the muslim in nigeria so because of their political you know uh, uh, what they want in their political life but he came out to speak directly to him directly because this is a man that is about to cause and a, a, a sort of uh, to a war, a, a sort of um, WARO stuff in, in, in the country. So we should we should look at that message that is very thick. So what 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 I want to say there is that it is okay to me. I'm not praising him, but I'm just looking at the message, and that is how I thought. I look at the message. I don't look at the war, the 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 person delivering the message itself. So that is Mr. good. Mr. Black, Mr. Black Manta, can I just yeah. interject you? That's my second. See, going forward, uh, funny for food, Kayode. See, that's where I will slightly take a, you know, a different position, you know, of what you're saying. See, even his message, even them, you know, when, when you give message, there are ways that you can bring out your message that in that message will have credibility and the timing of the message also will carry weight the only part you know the only you know um strong you know some what you have what is the, the strongest point you have made as far as fanny fanny this comment today is concerned is the fact that yes he is a voice you know because even when you see even when you see a killer a, what they call a serial killer when the when the serial killer speak the whole media will still carry it but that does not mean that the killer what is coming out from the killer is anything that is that is truth or fact or anything to even stand by that is where you can you can put a furniture day for food in that category even the message coming out from him is not correct is is an opportunist so you have you have to read okay the message what is saying you also have to try as much as possible no man can know the heart of man you cannot know the heart of man but see we have tools you you are you are you are, you are enlightening if someone is speaking or someone speak you can look at the track record you can look at the at, at, at the position of that person on issues you can make judgment one or two things which means that you can read the mind of the person where the person is coming from and your judgment will be if not correct you will be almost there you will eat it on the nail almost you know this is the case that we have with fanny kayo the fanny kayo the where is coming from is coming from the position of dishonesty is coming from the post is just taking an up is just an opportunist regardless whatever he says right even conceding Consider that what Fanny Kayode said is true and is fact. Does Fanny Kayode have any, any truth that can come out of his mouth that you can sit on? What morality? I have, I have children. If my children now, they are listening to someone who is, the, who is a known, you know, this, a known dishonest person, 
and the person now comes out and now saying some truth, I will still not allow my children to listen to him. I won't, and you won't either. You won't either, because what you will do is that you will look at the person antecedent. You will look at his track record. You will not give him that benefit of doubt at that time. You need more than that. Okay, Mr. J. That is that is my point. Thanks. You you've spoken well a little bit. You've spoken well a little bit, and I respect your the dimension in which you want to come. But one thing we should note here is that if we are fight, if we are if we are pursuing a course, what we take is what we take is the word. We are analyzing things. It is the word we are analyzing. I'm not looking at the personality. It should, it's a two different things. If I have to put emotion into it and not look at the personality, then I would I would throw away whatever is fit. But what I'm seeing there is the word, the message. It might not have delivered it the way it's delivered, but I am very happy it challenged that it challenged Gumi because Gumi is one of the factors that are bringing about the uprising in Nigeria. We should note that. What brought about this in Nigeria, we should all note it. And tomorrow, I pray to God I have enough time. I'm going to analyze that. I came from the, 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 the Middle East down to Nigeria, and we should try as much as possible to understand it. What Dumi is fighting for is not fighting for whether Agbado, he is fighting for the retention of the continuation of Muslim, Muslim ticket. That is what he's fighting. And there are different groups. A different group and we are going to categorize it tomorrow and i'll pray that some people all of us will get involved in it because this thing is going to be blown into a different dimension and i pray we understand it i'm taking his message i'm going to take his word and i merge it with what i'm going to speak tomorrow and you will now see how it's going to how it's supposed to be and how wicked these people are so that is what i'm that's what i'm going to say today concerning it but i want to also thank a lot of us who have been consistent, I have been busy going around a lot of doing a lot of things, trying to move from one place to another, trying to make some changes is what I'm doing. So I thank Niger Watch for what you is doing. Thank you and thank everyone. Thank Mama in Diaspora. God bless you, Ma. I watch what everything I watch every day. Even if I'm not there present, I always, you know, try to play the video back to see so that I'll keep myself in tune what you guys have said so that i'll be online so that whenever i come in i i fix myself in the right place so i thank you and um give us our mandate there's something also that i'm going to you are going to participate in because the yoruba race is really losing a lot in this and i'm going to bring that into it i'm trying to get statistics so that we can argue on the statistics the yoruba race is definitely losing and what they think about the yoruba race before the achievement yoruba race has before the, 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 the demography has changed. It has really changed. So it is better for us to give them the information so that they'll be aware of everything they are doing. Thank you all. All right, uh, my brother, uh, Black Panther, may God bless you. I understand uh, you're very busy right now. We, I, I already know, so that's fine. Take your time as long as you're following up what we're doing here. Uh, we know you're always with us, even though you're not on the screen. I know you're always with me. God bless you, my brother. Thanks for your submission. Thanks for always being there. Thanks for standing for a better Nigeria. I appreciate every one of you, my people. We have come to the end of this broadcast. But I would like uh, give us a mandate to give us a, a closing remark. Um, then I'll take it from there. Give us a mandate. Don't forget to abet me poor how for the on, on for the grand abet. They can call a uh, <laughs> Kayanode to come lick my bed, he must lick the Ohan Subisi me. Because informal boss don't tell us. Say Fenukuku Kayode. If you even if the bone no get soup for body, you don't lick the bone, lick the bone, put the bone for ground. Fenny must must he must eat it because that is what he's known for. So my fellow Nigerians, that morning they call him. Uh, him say na in na FFK for food fani kayode. Uh, please, that man na na dog na him be anywhere in see food. He must eat. He must eat. That's why he no get dignity like Mr. Jonathan say. He no get dignity. He no get integrity. That one na one of the Yoruba people, and that is why these are the reasons. Why you may see a loss in demography, 
although I've not seen any any statistics, but you know, um, we'll, we'll look at that when you bring it up. Uh, Black Panther, but this is one reason why the value, the culture is the 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 belief system is 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 going down because of men like this, people that cannot stand for the truth, men that cannot hold their conscience. If they see mammon, they must worship mammon. That is the once they see mammon, oh, forget it. They just have to worship mammon. What can you see of someone like Peter and Gregory Ubi? What can you see of someone like Dele Farutimi? What can you see of someone like Pa Ayoba uh, 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 Pa uh, uh, Ayo Adebanjo? These are men of integrity. What can you say about Rufa Hosseini? People all over the place is doing something great. Yoruba heritage, standing for the truth. The one that shocked me the most, my people, is the fact that these people, if stand, say they won't support drug baron. I never hear them in the history of Yoruba culture say one person won't become president and that person are ex convict. Where we say, he forfeit 460,000 US dollars. Only him one gave four different best certificates. That four different best certificates alone don't, don't, don't disqualify him. Honestly, make you even forget, say, okay, forget about Abuja. Forget double nomination. Forget a um, for, forgery. The four different best certificates alone where this guy gets, he don't disqualify him. This guy, only him one say, he get NYC exemption. When NYC never even started the issue exemption, only this guy with them called Bola Tifnumbu and Moda Songuleri, only him one say Ingo Government College, Lagos. When they never even established the school, 1970, the school was established in 1974. All of these things alone don't it don't do enough to knock this guy out, knock him out like 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 no man business. But you see the likes of Wale Inka, and most of them. Even clergymen they support this nonsense. They support this evil. I had I had a conversation with some of my brother for church today. And they tell them the instances of how they don't, they don't bastardize the, the, the word Yoruba. And to bring your mind back, my people, because of this drug battle, say one become president, the oral worshippers themselves defy their own God. They are God of sin at night. Now night they are God the common side though. Then tell Oro, say, Oro, you know what? Now, now them, they worship Oro. Uh, but Oro, because a uh, one drug baron must become president, you must come out for the day. Because of this drug baron, this evil man, because of this drug baron, we lose over 80 people for the election. A 19 years old, he pied himself up little jobs because of this drug baron. And up until tomorrow, Nobody don't come. You, you never see any village for your bad for your bad land where they don't say okay, we don't go aya, they don't go aya drum be uh, drum, drummers and dancers. Say ah, now the family of Tinubu and they celebrate their son become president. You never see him for your bad land. That means that we say we don't even know this. We, we know me, I don't know him. I don't know this guy. But because of these people like a Fenukuku, Fenimomos, Kayodede. Did nine destroy the nine de destroy put us where we did today? This evil man. So any more Yoruba, Ejeka did they Ejeka did they a did they on ten she a ten for what's what we're to know when the code JRA or really the Nigeria test him upon Colo on Colo Jawa Lujawa Lubori Peter will be Lujawa Lubori Tinubuni con only Connie. Want Bell America be a maid, not a deported America to the Poshikini own Fagbu, own Fagbo, only coin, only coin, Los Chicago, no Los Chicago, all of forgery, all of forgery certificates, all of she, I did ru, I did ru, resort in this room, Musi, I did ru, Tileloco, I did ru, Nitino Bushi, if we have got to go to the Pong Ban Chicago, Colo Chicago, I did ru, Loshi. Tinubuni Colony, if your job me or if your job be married in Tinubuni Colony, she shall be cooling Tinubuni, shall be cooling. Which I have been only by Bauchi, you show only con only con la only con la barra, I won't call like two one to one year, Rubani. Show only conny. Show only conny, she is why you're here. Only colony, we are job be married. 
o won ni kon ni 71 omo 64 omo 68 eh tinunbu ni kon ah amunisin eran eran ibiye kenu ma sun la re baba ba bofo al odaran omo yoruba e dide a gbodo laju sun kale kigi ko 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 wa loju a gbodo laju ki ki keni buburi ko ba ko ba ko ba eran yoruba je e dide bojo mo eko ni bojo mo ogun lo je bojo mo oyo omo kwara omo osun e dide tinunbu gbodo lo tinunbu must go tinunbu gbodo lo eleko lori oye leni leni bayi sin dola ni ti gbo lori ire si osira erun osira epo osira awon apaniyan awon ajinigbe awon ole ni se anu tun lo lo fo bank ni lokoja ni tori kini afagburu afagbo lo nbe lori oye e dide omo yoruba eleki sha ke si ran wa e je a le lo e dide tinunbu gbodo lo tinunbu gbodo lo e le dide e le ko lori oye e le e le e le jina ki se ran wa ki jara wa thank you very much for your service Thank you. Thank you, my brother, for all you do. Um, I believe they will understand that deep, deep dialect. You know, um, thank but you. Mr. Mr. Abis, can I just add to what uh, Give Us Our Mandate said now? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let me thank uh, Give Us Our Mandate. You, you, you spoke you spoken well, at least directly to to people to the to the people that really needs it even more than us you spoken with thanks for that you see i i can't i i don't I, that article that you read about the guy the former INEC uh, chairman i i just when you are reading that article that's that story you know i i wanted to chip in but uh, there was no there was there was no time so i think it will be it it will be injustice for me not to say something about that article see in nigeria the blind knows that the election was rigged. The deaf know that the election was rigged. The dump knows that the election was rigged. We all know that. There is nothing Jega is coming to say now that is new, apart from the fact that he was the former chairman of INEC, right? So when he comes out to say something, yes, it will be, it will be listened to. It, it will carry voice, it will carry weight. Aside from that, we all know that the election was rigged. The question is this, why is Jega coming out at this material time? Exactly. exactly. October, October 2023. So it took him more than six, seven months to come to the conclusion that the election was rigged. Mr. Jonathan, I was, where was he before PPP, PEPT? Where was he? Where was he before the, before the judgment of September 6th? The, the issue with them is that, see, I want to believe that most likely, you know, I stand to be proven wrong, most likely his nominee to Tinumbu was not, was rejected. He himself was not given any position because the way they do, they, they, they submitted, they submitted the names. Interest, the Northern interest has been, has been, on the Foju Northern interest, on the, on the, on the Yes. The, you know, yes, yes yeah, that is what is happening now that is exactly what is happening in, on the inside on the inside that is what is happening now and that is why they are coming out they are frustrated so it is now the case of if you if we can have it you too cannot have it so to bring him down and they are just bringing it out now we are we haven't seen anything yet that is what is happening right now because these people, if 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 Jega nominee to Tinumbu administration has been taken, Jega will not come out now, most likely. He won't come out. Or if he himself has been given one position or the other, he will not, he won't, he won't come out yet. And that is what we're seeing playing out now. So again, Nigerians, just let them know that wherever they come from, we are we, we as 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 uh, our people we say, they will say we sit down here, Tanda, we they wait for them. Let them bring it on because the game they've played over the years is 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 all is over. They cannot manipulate Nigerians any 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 longer. 
So that is that's that's just the position. Let them know that we all know the truth. We all know what is play what is playing out. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. Thanks to everyone. I appreciate it. Mr. Elvis. <laughs> Mr. Elvis. Right. Yes, uh, Mother Patricia. Uh, hey, I, I don't know. I don't know whether I <laughs> yes. Uh, Thank actually, you miss you, I came on board. Good evening. Mother P, I miss you. <laughs> I, now, because of you, Seth, let me people join. Because I came back today from where I go. I went to Norway to go and see my son. I just drove back uh, this night. So, and um, as I hear say you did there, now I make me jump, enter the this thing. As I just reach us, now I jump. I didn't fall out since for road, uh -huh. But as I hear say you did there, I say, make I come in. Make I say, ah, Black Panther, we miss you. Mr. Evans, don't ask a few tires before you come show your face. I don't know whether you come yesterday, Sha, but uh, I did hear Mr. them. I did wait for sorry, I did wait for make uh, uh, MC uh, CM uh, talk something before I go come in. It was very calculative. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, I I, I still make my own uh, 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 submission briefly, Mr. Evans. Yes, of course, of course. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I want to go back to. Uh, the uh, F, uh, FFK, you know, I was, I was, I will agree that you know we should uh, take his message and not the, um, not the messenger, because honestly, even though many people are online talking about uh, uh, replying to Gumi, how many people carry weight? In this uh, day and age, it's about the ones that have that uh, I would say capacity. Yes. Capacity in that sense that you have been playing uh, playing the big big boys league. That's the one that they will they will go and interview now. They cannot go and be interviewed. If anybody wants to come and interview people now, they will not go to those people that are on his page now, all those Nigerians that are just there. If they want, there is uh, this FFK that they will still go to, if that's the case. So for me, him coming out to say what he has said and challenging this so-called gumi. I think it's a very good thing because yesterday I was very pissed, but I didn't have, I was in a place I couldn't really like voice my voice. So I just come down, I was listening, but I cannot participate because who is he? You know, I think it's the yesterday, the first day, who is he to call a, a Christian an infidel? What does he mean by that? That we are, we are just calm. It doesn't mean that we don't know the truth. I think he, if anybody is deceived here, he's the one, and his his, his likes, they are the ones that are deceived. You know, I'm not religious, but I'm a Christian, and Christianity is not religion. It's not a religion, so make we not deceive ourselves. Now, now he's the one that is being deceived. The one that has seen if if he is the one that is going out to copy people if he did. Christianity is about love. The Jesus coming and everything is about love, love, forgiveness, love. That's what he came to to show. But his own is kill and not don't sorry, he spy and not forgive. What's that? So tell me who is more godly. One that say okay, if you offend, you have to you have to be spied, and the other one that say even if you offend, okay, yes, if you repent, I can still overlook you. What's that? So please, um, he should go and uh, you know fix his own house. They should. They have not started crying. They thought this their most nervousness ticket was for us, for for them to have advantage. But you see, that is what it is. If God be for us, who can be against us? When the Christians tried to fight it, and it was like they overpowered. I think they left it, isn't it? But God is fighting his fight. What is happening is God fighting his battle. That's now we will know who is really serving the true God in that Nigeria. This is how we will know. So let's wait. We are going to see many miraculous things happening. Look, that even we are still here talking, talking, talking like we are doing is by <laughs> the miracle power of God because God's hand is upon this thing. If it was not, everybody should have gone, everybody would have entered his house since long ago. So it is about what God wants to do in the now of the lives of the people in Nigeria. 
It's about him bringing his plan to pass. He has a plan for that country. You understand? So it's not about whether they brought us together, they didn't bring, bring us together. In fact, <laughs> it, it is after he, he actually told them, he said, he, you know, he, 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 what did he say? He prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemy. That's what he has done. He has prepared a table before us in the presence of our enemy. So they will see all the oppression that they've been oppressing will be quiet because we know we have we serve a God, we serve the God, the true God that you know overlook everything because ah look it's only a stupid person that'll be going to ocean to go and steal water and that's what they have been doing do you see us do you see we complaining come and steal come come and steal as much oil as you want but the thing is that it can never run dry because we are the source if we come out if we leave nigeria nigeria will sink and you don't know why are they crying they don't have anything so what are we talking about uh, look, uh, look, me. <laughs> if they leave me with them, if not let me in, I'm me and them, me and them will already make we just cook my finish. What do you with that? They don't get anything now. Uh, okay, when they oppress, they oppress. But see, look at the people when they oppress, they see better person now. One thousand or one million times, they see better person now. That one ever teach you now, say, say, look, this one I uh, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Never, you know, they never touch, teach, teach you now, say, say, these people are people of grace. Not be disgrace. So what are we talking about? You coming out now to say the uh, FCT is for uh, what they call it? Now you get FCT, a federal capital. That's, that's federal capital. It's a federal capital. Is uh, where every every region or state, as the military has literally to be, reside. It's a no man's land. That's what it is. So get it in your that your coconut head. Get it in. Make it sink where well, where. Well. Don't come out, come to tell us where the federal capital be. It's not from for Muslim. It's not for a Muslim. It's not for Muslims. And Nigeria is not a Muslim country. Even if you not try, you, you will always fail. You can write some for all the money, write some. It no matter. Mm -hmm. Why we never notice because it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Even the Muslim, when they talk about self, he win Abuja, the, the thief, the uh -huh. thief who drug, drug baron, did he win Abuja? Uh -huh. Let's win Abuja. Like, like the Let me win Abuja. Let me win Abuja. Now be the team now. Now be the team Just get out there and go. Like, yeah, get see, out. Let me get, get out. Put the all, all of them together. Look at them, Jiga. Look, Mr. Elvis. If anybody don't know about Jiga, I mean no Jiga where we me when they nearly give me heart attack from my house for europe because they are the watch nigeria election huh you got where they talk you got rig for for body to win they rig a uh, rig uh, jonathan out now it's not the same tune that uh that uh that uh, uh this uh this wicked mahmoud do not be not be jigadu was that not the same it's the same if you know any man called rubebe he almost committed sin that day. He was like that. He was a. Uh, he was one that exactly. God's will. God's will. He, he said, the same way. The same way. Uh, the same way. Dino did. Uh, was, this uh, was, this was, guy. Was, this. Uh, what what is his name? You cannot count it. You cannot count it. And see, man, like you said, this northerners, they are, they are, they are, the, they are the problem. Like Jega, like Mahmoud, the two of them should be in jail. Of course. You, you see, sorry to interject you. Mama, you brought in a very vital thing and uh, to, uh, my brother just spoke. You gave a good answer. And the answer you've given, we have been trying to find a way to put that answer forth, but we are looking at as a patron. Let us not say that word again. But mm. we have been waiting for them until one day all of us will speak with one voice and the day is mm. coming. Where we uh -huh. tell the north to go, all of us are going to say that in one day, and I believe and I pray the Israel does not do a mistake because if they do that mistake, we will all rise up one day and tell them to go. This is not a matter of say go fight or no fighting. We tell them, let them go. We don't let them, my brother, and they are Muslims. We don't let them be a chairman. 
the guy they come at the count of them for rig election. And this rig is not a house for election. Me, look, the thank you when Mahmoud do not himself do. Okay, thank you, thank you, my people. I appreciate every one of you. I have somebody on the phone, but before that. I would like to add to what Mother Patricia said. I, I support her. Uh, we should take the message and leave the messenger out of it. Because if you check, you know, the submission, uh, or rather the message from FFK, you know, was a direct message. Believe me, nobody, I believe, in the whole Nigeria that can deliver that message like that. Because that message was too raw. Uh, if anybody have to say something about this mess, uh, talk about this whole issue, I'm not sure that we can have anyone that would be that brave like FFK, the way he delivered that message. So for me, let's take the message and forget about the messenger because the messenger is just something else. We know that. Meanwhile, thank you very much, Madam Joy, for calling in. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. Hello, my people, well-meaning Nigerians, obedient family, Niger works family. I greet everyone. I am just, you know, relaxing. And I, I was kind of on my way home when the, the program started. So I greet everyone. Mr. Niger Watch, I just called in just for you. But before I say what I want to say to you, um, I agree with what you said about FFK, you know. Even a mad person has one moment of sanity. So in that moment of sanity, they can do something good. So I agree with you on that one, FFK. <laughs> Let's, he, you know, truth is truth. You know, if he has lied all his life and he has to say this one truth, we give him a check on that. And for uh, our... Um, uh, you know, people in the north, you know, I guess by this time they have gathered enough money. For so for all the trillions of Naira they have been gathering, uh, it should be enough to last them the rest of their lives. So it's high time they just leave us alone. They have stolen enough to la last their, the rest of their lives. They have drawn enough oil. They have, you know, Wide enough, they have um, now that they have given, they, they can merge with Niger, you know, like move, move, because they are that they are larger there, so they can even make a nation for themselves. It's high time they stop this ranting and nonsense because because somebody does not uh, uh, bring out their own pie doesn't mean they don't know how to do it. So they should stop this crap. And now let me come to my reason for calling in. Today is Sunday, Mr. Nigel Watch. I have a combination of two scriptures. You know, I'm a scripture person, so I'll always. It is in Genesis 22, verse 16, and then I use the account of Peter. When Jesus needed a boat, one man rented his boat to Jesus to do his work. And Niger Watch TV is that boat you rented to for the for the health of humanity. I keep saying it, you don't know what you have done. You don't know this thing you have done. God told Abraham, because you have done this, I swear by myself. I believe God is on his throne has sworn by himself. I said, if I don't bless you, eh? If I don't bless you, ah, my throne, and because he is God, he will never, never forget you. He said, in blessing, I will bless you. In multiplying, I will multiply your seed. Your seed will never see shame. Because you have done this, because you have devoted your time, and I bless your Amen. wife today. Just say hello to her for me and your children. Tell them that we appreciate them. As Nigerians, we appreciate them as we appreciate you. And I think Mama Desra is your mom. Thank you, Ma, for being the for raising a son like this. You have done a great thing for God. And I say thank you, Ma. 
And I'll rest it here till next Thank time so when much. we come out again to run our mouth. <laughs> Thank you so much, God Madam bless Joy. You all. God bless you too. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. God, God bless you now. I appreciate every one of you for your continuous encouragement, your prayers, your support, directly or indirectly. Anyhow, you're doing it organically. I want to say I am very, very grateful. It's a collective effort. We are fighting uh, to have a better Nigeria. Uh, we are also praying at the same time to have that better Nigeria in our time. Somebody just commented just now, and that thing hit my heart so hard. Gospel Music 24, he said, I'll go and go talk from 1900 years time, you know, other, uh, to have a, a good Nigeria. This strong man needs to be bind. Without that, you are joking some group of people think they own Nigeria. You know, despite that this kind of message is not the best time to hear it, but if you look at it, there's some truth in there. That is what we're fighting right now. Even Mr. Peter will be said it from beginning that it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be an easy fight. And that's what we're facing right now. Some people believe they own Nigeria. You know, that has always Mr. been there. Elvis, not to activate Amichi, activate Amichi uh, 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 yeah, Mr. Amichi Harvey, you know. Mr. Harvey, they believe. Yes, now it's becoming they believed. Okay? Yes, That's they believe. Yes. 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 They believe. It's, it's not past tense. The reality is turning on them that they don't own Nigeria. So we are. that's what we are doing. And we are, we are, we are binding them, you know, using shame to shame them they cannot move that's what is happening to them I, I, just hope, I just hope um tomorrow in the next couple of hours now we are going to be following up with what will be happening in the supreme court i just hope now that nigerians will be out crying all these people begging for money automatically many of them have become a beggar i wish they would be on the street tomorrow and just go to supreme court everybody lie on the floor be crying there. Don't call anybody in a brother and be begging for money. Go to Supreme Court, be crying there. Tell them that you, you know you are hungry. No government take people's life because you are crying. Nobody. You know, it's only when you go there and now apply violence, that's when they start taking you out. You know, so for me, um, let's see what happens tomorrow. I just hope Supreme Court do the right I thing. I don't whenever I say that. Yes, yes, no, I said maybe right. I should also educate them because Nigerians, when you hear them, they will say, I'm begging the president and begging and begging that they should come to our aid. Why should you be begging your <laughs> servant? Why should you beg him? You should tell him, I'm commanding you to come and do what you said you would do. You are there to serve me, I'm not supposed to be begging you. They need to be educated. Normally, Why should normally, you beg him? Normally, you don't supposed to beg in a working system. That's I'm why. Begging. I mean. I'm in begging. A, Are you a, a beggar? In a working mm -hmm. system, you don't supposed to beg. But Nigeria is not working. You know, automatically, these people that are supposed to be serving us, we are the ones still serving them. That's why you see so many educated uh, uh, touts normally come out to say my chair my leader my chair my leader forgotten that you know who they are you know because nigeria that's how you know they design the country that yes you must worship your leader you must worship politicians so this is the narrative that we all are trying to change now well it's not an easy fight me personally do you guys know what i ever passed through by doing what i'm doing I, I won't come on air to talk. It's not easy. It's by God's grace that I come here every day. It's by God's grace. These people, they don't like what we are doing here. I've said it over and over again. They don't like it. They don't like it. It's not about bragging. The number one YouTube channel that is echoing this obedient movement. Now us. If there's another one, please let me know. The number one. There are many, but number one, now we. So you know what that means? They, they don't like it. 
we have other people talking. The number one on Twitter, Una still know. Now then Jimmy, the Saddam. Number one. There are so many on Twitter. But now them be number one. They are not happy. I remember these people, what hit them so hard is not number two, three, four, five. Mostly not that number one. Now they hit them pass. That's why they look for the leader. When there's a protest, they look for a leader. When there's a riot, they're looking for the leader. When it's a revolution, they are looking for the leader. Either to negotiate or take him out. That's two things. So it's not an easy job. It's not easy. So I will commend every one of you that is part of this movement, both on Twitter, on YouTube. It's just that I don't know if they have these dedicated people on Facebook and Instagram and uh, TikTok. But I know randomly, yeah, they are, they are there. But when it comes to bad, being dedicated, now YouTube, now they're full. And uh, Twitter. YouTube and Twitter. Every other spaces, um, uh, you know, social media platforms are just random you randomly see see them like today you see them maybe the next one week and a big brother or they talk discussing blue blue finish but you want to talk about the people that is seriously dedicating that have dedicated themselves for this to work out go buy for a full tank for your car drive through youtube you will see many drive through uh twitter normally not known as x you will see many so i want to encourage everybody listening to me today don't give up you are not doing anything wrong by calling out to have a better country you are not doing anything wrong you are not calling in fact constitutionally is your right so you are not doing anything wrong continue to speak continue to do the right thing Thank you very much, Amaka Fujabi. Thank you very much, madam. I appreciate you always. Thank you for this. I didn't see this coming because I was almost rounding up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless you. May pocket never run dry. Thank you so much, my, my wonderful people. I have come to the end of this broadcast, but may not come be like, say, I can't be selfish, selfish, selfish again. Because like say, people still get ginger. So more do final, final roundup of two, two minutes. I mean, you, you, you did you did in the spirit, my brother, because uh, one person asked one, one solid question for that comment session. And I say, What in the guy come as I come talk now? Which wh what difference does he make? Although, so, so in some way, it could make some little difference. But we are the guy day, we are in day since all these days before PEPT. You know, I talked this thing yesterday when it's not favorable to them. They come as I can't talk. They don't use their face for not rock ground. Yes, that's you know speaker. why then they come outside. Then they come outside because of what they happen for Abuja now. Mm. They are trying to take over Abuja and make Abuja a northern capital. And apart from that, remove it. Remove it. Remove And apart from that, they are not part of the people that want Tinubu to be out. In case you are not aware, that is true now because yes, uh, Abado broke the camel's back now by putting a Christian in Abuja. Mr. Ivis, if not be said Tinubu say he rig, huh? eh? This, yeah. If not be said Tinubu say he rig, eh? Say he rig and he really we know say he not being not being deserving. This time, the time we were supposed, all of us supposed to fight these people. But because Tunubu self in rig and he not qualified to be in that seat, he must vacate him. Maybe the thing. You are right. You are right. So for me, um, the obedient and concerned Nigerians are fighting for a better Nigeria right now. And the other worst part of it is that the Northerners are already fighting Tunubu. And not be, not go hear many things will go happen. They are already fighting Tunubu. They want him out. Regardless of what they do, Peter Obi is our president. Regardless whether Gumi say Christian, hey Gumi, anywhere you date tonight, if they hear me, Peter Obi 
Baba Chua, Baba, Baba Chalawa said it. We okay. know. London has known that Peter will be won this election on the landslide. Tunubu came to the stand third. I don't even care about the... the Man, no say some things here. Mr. Najawash, I want to remind you of me. something. You okay. know, there was a time where you mentioned one thing, and I also mentioned it again after some few, maybe for months or week. We were asking where are the northern guys? Where are our not where is our northern brothers? Are they not talking? And I retreated and I acted again. I shouted, I said. I almost got annoyed, but I have to retrieve it back because I don't want to spoil what we are pursuing. It is for everybody. I asked, I said, where are the Northerners? Where are they? If they don't speak, we are going to labor them. And the time is coming. And the time will come. After the Supreme Court, we open everything. Let anything, let anything happen. We are going to open it. All right. Um, thank you very Another much. Another thing is that we must also appreciate. We must, we, must, we must also thank God for for that he Baba made for exactly. standing for the truth despite what is um, whether his brother is doing with this uh, paripasu with these evil people. Mm -hmm. Because uh, honestly, that he Baba made must be commended for him standing tall, standing right, saying, "You know, that he was the one that that, that looked at the camera on the national TV." Telling Sheung or King Baloye that Sheung, let me educate you. If Ari War your Kayo Day swore in Tinumbu, he has destroyed the, he has destroyed Nigeria democracy. He said it and he, he called on Ari War your Kayo. They say, Don't swear this drug baron in this thief, don't swear him in. He told him on the live TV. And the Ari War, the, the wicked man with the Panama on his head, will not, will not do that. These evil people, this wicked man. People are suffering in their numbers every day. Nigerians can't eat, they can't drink. No peace, no light, no nothing. Roads are bad. He looks at the camera, he, he told them. He even called, he said, your, your, your lordship, your lordship, CJN, do not swear in Tinumbu. He told him on the live TV, the, the, the wicked man would not listen. Now you destroyed, you destroyed when last do you have a bank robbery in nigeria when last even in the in, even in the forest in some my brother forest. is very rampant right now eh? now it's becoming the order of the day and people are sending if you are sending money you have to put in your account you are you are you are doing yourself a huge disturbance stop your money put your money in your, wherever you live if you are in uk put your money in uk nothing is secured in that country right now nothing is secured You're nothing right. is guaranteed and we are not even sure where the country is going at this moment, we are not sure where we're the only thing that can rescue this country right now for me is Supreme Court. You know, Supreme Court, because you will see more. Tinubu don't care about whatever that is happening in Nigeria right now. Because if he cares, we're supposed to be seeing a lot of positive things from Tinubu since for the past almost five months now, or or so. Nothing, nothing. He doesn't care. Can you just borrow, 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 borrow for the within four months in office? Let's round up, my people. Let's round up. I appreciate every one of you. Uh, Black Panther, please, two minutes. Round up with us, two minutes. Yeah, Mr. Have... Niger Watch, thank you for everything. Thank you. Everyone that has spoken, you've spoken well. And I want to state here the reason why we are borrowing is because the people that that's claimed they own the oil well. They've all taken the oil well and they decide to borrow. And as they borrow, they are still taking the money they borrowed and still being in charge of the oil well and thereby starving the people that own the oil of their own resources. That is what they want to do and that is what they have done. Thank you, Mr. Najawa. Thank you very much, my brother. I appreciate you. All right, uh, Madam Patricia, please give us your two minutes. Thank you again, Mr. Elvis. Yeah, um, Nigeria, like I said, you know, I always say it's a, it's a case study. But um, I'm looking forward for tomorrow and what God has for us, not man, because I still believe that there's a God, there's <laughs> there's a God in heaven that can turn the heart of men 
to do what he wants. So let's wait till tomorrow and see what the Supreme Court will finally decide. Uh, if they decide to finally bury Nigeria, we will know tomorrow. And uh, if that's the case, I think Nigerians should not wait. I don't even see any reason why they should wait. But tomorrow, they, they should know the direction the team is going. You know, you can know by the first uh, step they will take. You will know what, what's going on. And if that's the case, that we can see that uh, if they want to bury Nigeria, if they want to bury it, we cannot say no, but uh, then let everybody go their way. And uh, I'm for that, actually. I really want Nigeria to, to split. Thank you. Because I don't, I don't think this country can work. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Patricia. God bless you. Uh, I want to thank those of you that live in um, Canada. May God bless you all. I can see the work that you guys are doing over there. Um, yes, you're coming out with your placard and all that, saying Tinubu must go. So, um, yes, any country you live in, you can see you don't need to be 1,000 people. If you can put 10 people together with your placard, come out, display it, and put it right there on the social media. People are looking, people are watching. You know, let's put our head together to have a new Nigeria. One person cannot do it. It's a collective effort. You know, thank you very much. I would like to come to Mr. Jonathan. Please, two minutes, sir. Thanks. Thanks very much, Mr. Elvis. Thanks. Thanks to everyone. Uh, I'm looking at the pictures right now, and I just want to thank, you know, give a big thank you to this uh, this these Nigerians that are out there today, I believe this is this is Canada. This is uh, this is the, the nation's capital in Ottawa. If I'm right, when I know, I believe this is Canada. I want to give a very big thank you to each and every one of them. Uh, we appreciate you and uh, everything that we are working for, everything that we are looking for. We not we not be in vain. All of our efforts, we not we not be in vain. I just want to end there. I want to say a big thank you to all these people. I think it it overrides anything I would have wanted to say. Exactly. I want to I, I want to give it to them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very exactly. much, Mr. Elvis, and thanks to everyone. Yeah. Thank you, sir. They deserve all the thanks. Trust me, they deserve all the thanks. You know, um, I like to see things like this. Please, um, if you make a video or a picture, please send it to Nigeria Watch. Let's uh, skyrocket it for you. So that people will see your efforts. Let's do this, man. Anywhere you're watching us from, even though in Morocco, you watch from now, Spain, anywhere, Italy, Germany, anywhere in the UK. I never see UK. Oh no. All right. Let's put in that effort. Let me come to Madam Ame Bright if she's still there with us. Okay. Let me move on to the next person, which is um uh okay. I think everybody has spoken. Everybody has spoken. Give us a Monday, don't talk, Mr. Jonathan, don't talk. Black Panther don't talk, Mother Patricia don't talk. Now, let me that my bright that is not available. So, thank you very much, my people. We have come to the end of this broadcast. It's been a long day. Um, uh, I'll be saying that three hours ago, spent we still manage with drag and drag and drag. And. People like give us a mad date, he, he get your own way, wait till the drag and he drag and go put on for almost five hours, four hours, 30 minutes counting. So, that, that's what you get. But we are here. We need to round up. <laughs> I appreciate you, all my people. Let's see how it goes tomorrow. Normally, our coming out every day is 6 p.m., but the way it looks like, we might be coming out anytime randomly tomorrow because the Supreme Court case starts tomorrow. So expect us, in case anything is happening, I will be here with you guys so that we can take it together. The way we take do throughout the OPPC, uh, uh, petition court. So let's see how it goes from tomorrow and then we'll take it together here as well. And God, and God bless you, my people. Uh, I want to appreciate everybody that came into the uh, platform today. Those of you that are still here with Mr. Jonathan, uh, Kingsley, give us a mandate, Madam Amber Bride, Black Panther, Madam Patricia. Thank you very much. And I appreciate those of you that already left. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sunday. Thank you, Mr. Chuso Bibweze and uh, many others. Now God, I will bless you now. Then I would like to appreciate those of you that supported me today, supported the channel today. Um, Makafo JB, thank you very much, Madam. Once again, Peggy Modi, thank you very much, Madam. 
and love god is my strength and god and god bless all my people those of us on the comment section mother of all mommy diaspora the greatest mother of all thank you very much mommy i appreciate you always uh thank you so much constant thank you for all you do my god you one of you yes sir uh, on our king says, we they come in now. We got to we got to tell them, say we they come in, they'll give us number. Come in where? To your place now. The king says we got to tell them, say we they come in. <laughs> so that they'll give us number. Attire. This we will we'll deal with you now. That's not king, we'll deal with that more. <laughs> hey, oh <Yeah>. American ski. <laughs> ah, <laughs> God. Now 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 no one will be a whole America. <laughs> In my country, whether they, whether they first certificate, they talk. Eh? Now where would they carry for back? Now where they, they first certificate? <laughs> now anywhere certificate you go, now anywhere we go, now they follow us. <laughs> now certificate, now they first for there. I don't understand. Oh, yeah, we the, okay. If you first down, we'll catch you now. We don't catch her now. La <laughs> <laughs> matter, don't tire me. <laughs> Thank you. Elvis, <laughs> after many years. Ma? After how many years the cash and <laughs> yeah, exactly and the, even the cash when they say the cash and so we'll never even see see the end though cash yeah. now cash now we'll go release the other criminal record very soon we'll never see see the end though chicago state university put like gadagba the supporter indirectly we'll not do anything about her i bet carry america put for one corner for now my america people hmm. want to vessel. So. The, the world police to me put them down hmm. Make Afghanistan come catch you now. There, they need to make me forgive you now, right? Now, I'm tell you, I FBI, I they release this document quickly. Ah, we are giving them go ahead now. Why not give them go ahead? Not one end. I never still release her. Ah. Thank you, my people. Let's round up. Kasava Joshua, thank you very much. I appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you very much, my people. And uh, I like to appreciate. Uh, Madam Patricia Tagujumi is also in the comment section. Divine Cross, I can see you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Adesua uh, Osage there. Thank you so much, my people. And uh, God, God bless you. Maka Fujabi once more. Michael Oganemaro. Thank you. Stella Imasevedo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, God, God bless you, my people. We've come to the end of this broadcast. Please, my people, one thing that you need to do right now before you go, press on that like button if you have not done that yet and copy the link put them for your handbag take them go go put them for anywhere where you know say you belong for inside social media meanwhile for those of you that are going to be playing back our video i've said it before please always click on our super thanks our super thanks is just there nobody's clicking on it click on it support us i understand many of you are praying thank you mr Najawas. thank you mr elvis thank you click on our super thanks you know, if I click on the super tanks and send the message through the super tanks, uh, that will put when I did read that, I, I was a smile, you know. And meanwhile, also join our membership program, join our membership program. I appreciate that. Then we also notice some people watch because we have a, a software to um, check people who constantly watch our videos, but they have not subscribed. We have a software. You know, and we notice some people always watch, but you did not su subscribe with us. And we also notice that some people watch and you don't hit on the like button. So I'm looking forward to when the software will come out that can bring out names. You know, you only show you that so 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 people like this watch they didn't like. So 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 people like this watch they didn't subscribe. So 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 people like this watch they didn't uh, share, but there's no name yet. Until the name will be out, don't be surprised when I'll come here. Because they say, Ah, uh, Kingsley, Ogadegbe, you wash 25 times, you know, like. Uh, Black Pata, you wash 78 times, you know, like. You know, share. You know, subscribe. You know, uh, give us a mad day, you wash 372 times, you know, like. You know, share. And then I could, you know, I could call call register for you. So we are looking forward to that technology quick on time because things are working very rapidly right now so before we know the feed they see how many people will watch you will not share will not like we know do all those things but now we can see that so i'm telling you guys do that for us like once you don't watch nothing wrong you press the like or press the super tanks or share 
or subscribe subscribe yeah you know stick with us i don't think what we are doing here is a bad thing you know you need to be bad to think that what we are doing here is bad you know i repeat you need to be a bad person for you to think what we are doing here is bad because we are only fighting for a better country and we are fighting for our government to give us a better country a country where everybody can be proud you know that i am a nigerian you know but some people think it's a wrong thing to complain it's a wrong thing to quarry your plights so um yes encourage us join our membership program and um yeah what else again okay the one i not remember i'll talk to him again tomorrow thank you thank you thank you now god now god bless all my people good night and i'll see you guys tomorrow again bye for now i know they do competition with anybody if i offend you forgive me show me love go to biza biza kama para walo ninu ife kon akon bi i know they do competition with anybody if i offend you forgive me show me love i go show you love kama para walo ninu ife kon ba i know they do competition with anybody